Utopia Multi-Tool Station Plans. Salvage Data 21 Supreme... I didn't catch the rest of it. Oh my god! <laughs> Feral Ghoul Horde? Oh my... I'm still kind of tempted to play them. Okay. saying to that bird the bird knows she needs to know you do not I helped defend this grove I'm not your enemy <laughs> Wow okay wow I'm really accumulating inspiration I might as well I would like to see what she has to say. Seriously? Okay, that's better. Good doing business with you. didn't help as much as I was hoping it might. <laughs> ah. Come on. A guard uniform should do nicely, but you'll need to draw him out and isolate him. Or we could just do this one. Oh, there you are. There you go! Mine launcher. I, oh my god, I did it! I did it! I got rid of his stealth generator. Go back to the way you That's came, amazing. It's dangerous. Wait, what? Pet? What? Are you Oh my god. The stories say he sought to claim it's someone there. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe if I run real fast, we can just clear right through there.
Okay. Maybe not. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. <laughs> There you are. What? Ruined. That was a perfectly lined up shot. God. Haboob Dust Storm. From far off, people see the approaching wall of driven sand and scatter to seek safety before the scouring wind. Because this area just doesn't get enough weather hardship as it is. Uh oh. Why aren't you the clumsy one? Because of your inability to walk without falling on your face, your helmet is now riding the elevator without you. You've blown your cover. The Sarians are sure to shoot first and ask questions later. Unknown, they failed to notice my hands. Maybe they won't notice my face. Holy crap, that was... That might not have hit anything yet. Although, I'm kind of wondering how far that wave might maintain its height. That bridge could be in trouble. Um, but... That was impressive as hell. Oh my god. <laughs> that was real cool. Don't worry about it. It's my home too. Doubt that. Bye, Haley. Hope to see you again. Best outfit in the game. Rick, the door technician. What? <laughs> Boss defeated. Multi kill. <laughs> And that blew the surprise. Now the raiders know I'm here. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, and I'm saved up here too. I like this so far. I like the ones that have the big, long ramps like this. Oh, no way. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Hang gliding in the rain is my favorite thing. Yeah, you know, it's it said in underpants, it didn't say unarmed. Come on, guys. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, that, uh, um, <laughs> okay. Oh, my God, that's amazing. Supercharge boost. Excellent. Okay. Oh, what do you like to do for fun? Whatever's next, that's what's fun. Looking for suspect male. Was last seen on dock twenty-seven. Hostile approaching. Copy that. This will be Oh my God! The oh crap! This is so good. Excuse me? What? <laughs> Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. Today we are going to be playing some new Star Trek Infinite. Uh, this will be number two in our playthrough. So we're going to return to it and see how things go. So uh, let's switch over here. I hope everyone's having a fantastic Saturday. Mine got off to a pretty good start today with uh, an oatmeal apple pancake that was really delicious. Hey, Hammer, how are you doing today? It's good to see you. Let me just find the game here. Where is Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek Infinite? There we are. Oh, it looks like there's actually been several small updates since the last time I played it. Interesting. Nobby, what the heck? Starship Legacy Raid, how appropriate. How are you doing, Nobby? It's wonderful to have you here. Um, I haven't even got the game launched yet. I was just setting it up. I've got the launcher sitting here. I was about to hit play. Nobby, how are you doing? How was your stream? What were you up to? Please tell me all about it. There was a reason why I asked. <laughs> Okay, well, I get it. Thank you so much. Uh, please tell me all the things. Let me get you shoutouts. Where where are the shoutouts here? Let's see. Nabi. You guys, of course, you know Nabi do. That is my link. Bot, what the hell. Man, I was on such a good roll with the shoutouts for a long time, and now all of a sudden it's gone haywire again. But there you go. There's a proper shout out for Nabi. So make sure you go give her a follow. She's been a very long time friend of the channel as well as a fantastic emo artist. You did two of the emotes here in the channel that actually have artistic merit to them. And 
uh, you just basically you want to go check her out and spend time. You will not regret it. I can guarantee that. So, um, oh, that's weird. My shout out semi worked. It gave my name, but I certainly was not streaming art recently. So it's got to have picked up your stream category correctly. So I don't know what's going on with it. That's a little weird. But yeah, make sure you go follow Nabi. What kind of art were you doing today? Did fun doodles of Baldur's Gate 3? Oh, very cool. And Genshin like seven hours prior. That's okay. That sounds like a really fun stream. Uh, yeah, so if you are new here to the channel, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every now and then I do a Lego build as well. In fact, I've got my nine-year stream anniversary coming up in four days, and we're going to be doing a new Lego build on that stream, so that's going to be a lot of fun. So... Uh, I do have a little video to welcome you in properly as well, so hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh... Uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that... Let's go for it. Oh, Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. That's a bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. And now I think we should probably load up the game. Yeah, I'm curious to see more of it myself, Nubby, so I'm kind of glad you recommended this one. We'll get back to some of the other games next time I stream. So let's just get this loaded up here. I like the artwork a lot in it. And I can't wait till they start releasing DLC. There are so many possibilities for where they could take this game. They've got the entire timeline of Star Trek to work through. They've got all the different iterations of it. You know, they've got the Kelvin verse, they've got the dark, like the mirror universe. They've got alternate timelines, like where in the, um, I don't even remember what it was called, but it was kind of the pseudo-federation from the Picard timeline where everything was very authoritarian and fascist. There's all just all kinds of possibilities for different geopolitical setups that they could arrange for this game. And it would be really, really amazing to see more of that represented. 
To say nothing of, we've only got half the galaxy so far. We've only got the Alpha and Beta Quadrants. They haven't done anything yet with the Dominion and the Gamma Quadrant or the Delta Quadrant or anything, so... There's so much room for expansion and additional exploration and content. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, let's get back in here. our current standing compared to our galactic neighbors. Important to note is that force is not the only way of unifying the galaxy. Remembering our civics can also give us a more diplomatic approach. After approximately three centuries, the widest reaching civilization will automatically be named the victor based on the available statistics. Oh, it just occurred to me. I mean, I mentioned the vast sweep of Star Trek timelines, but, you know, people tend to hear that and they think, oh, it could go all the way back to Jonathan Archer's time before the Federation was even founded, which is true. But they can also carry it way forward into the new, like, the later seasons of Discovery, where they're in, like, 3,000-something. Just hundreds and hundreds of years beyond. There's all kinds of awesome stuff they could work with. All righty. Where were we? Okay, so it looks like uh, I might... Well, we are free to start building stuff now. I had been trying not to use up my alloys building stations and stuff. And it looks like that might be hurting me. It kind of looks like my expansion has slowed a little bit. And the Klingons, the Cardassians, the Romulans, they're a bit smaller. They're a bit bigger than I am. Gonna grab lunch and bring it back to watch? No problem, Nabi. You do what you gotta do. Oh. Huberian autocracy. Lysepian cor corp corp corporatocracy. The Katarian Enclave. We're starting to run into a lot of little empires. We've got another fleet over here. Someone we haven't talked to yet. System of Malkor. Lionheart needs orders. Let's go, maybe... No, I can't. Okay. Go back to surveying the planet. Meanwhile, a lot of these systems, we do have them surveyed, so let me get some of my construction ships. Where are we? You're pretty close by. Go grab this star system for me, please. And the Chicago... I would like that one. Oh. Okay. okay, so we need more influence. Influence represents political clout and is used for many things like making claims, forming pacts and agreements with other civilizations, or building outposts. The gain rate remains fairly constant throughout the game, but can be increased by employing pops with the soldier job on a colony with the fortress world designation. That's the only way. Oh boy. Okay, well... In that case, just move there and we'll be ready to snap it up when it becomes a possibility. Now, I was also starting to realize that I'm a little behind on my planetary development, so... I need to pay some attention to that. We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. And Doria. Yeah, they're consuming more food than they produce, so let's add more agriculture. We've detected a non-Federation vessel. Okay. Surrey system. Research modeled. Mm. 
New technology has passed testing protocols. Planetary power grid, excellent. Gravitational target, rapid fire point defense. Research complexes, phaser auto array, small, medium, and large. We'll go with that for now. the Enterprise. They're still doing some... Oh, um... Where are we now? We are in 2365, but when the game first began, we were at the... Uh, a little before the next generation. It was the... Uh, what was it? It was a big sort of momentous event in Star Trek history. Um, I want to say the Kinnomer Massacre, where the Romulans attacked the Klingons, only it was actually the Klingons working behind the scenes, trying to create a war. Discovery log. Sightings of a shipwreck located Research on an log. island of debris in... Uh, let's pause. San Duran 3A has caught the attention of our Xeno archaeologists. Routine, let's do it. Yes, do it. Hey, Ansara, what's going on? New technology has passed testing protocols. Interplanetary study programs. High performing students receive scholarships to study on other worlds with academic courses gearing them towards diplomatic careers. Going all right is Saturday, excellent. It's been a good day for me, too, so far. Okay, we de definitely need automated living spaces. And that unlocks Federation residences. So I think with our current year of 2365, we're just kind of into the very early seasons of TNG right now. Sentinels making some good progress for us. Let's take a look at Andoria again. How are we looking here? Still behind on food, so let's add more agriculture. Like what we really need. Construction finished on schedule. We need quite a few. Oh, what was that? USS Nimble completed construction of a star base. Okay, excellent. Ugh, yeah, I need minerals badly. I should have gotten this one first. My life is finally, finally calmed down where I can sit and relax and enjoy my morning in your stream. Ultra, it's so good to see you. How are you doing? Ooh, what happened? Wait. Newly founded colony. We founded Ryza, guys. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm doing good today. It's a good day. I haven't done much other than have breakfast and stream, but that's all been very good so far. 
All right, I can't afford any of this. We really need to get mineral production going. So what is going on with the whole move situation, Ultra? I would love to hear more about this. Oh, and what are these red planets here? Can only colonize planets inside our borders. Okay. Clones Ahoy. After launching a lengthy investigation, our xenoarchaeologists eventually located the shipwreck buried amongst the debris of a small island on Sandaran 3A. Expecting to find relics and wonders of a time gone by at best, our anal analysts were baffled when they uncovered a towering mass of decaying humanoid clones piled up on top of each other. Stranger still, when our crew walked up to the colony of rusted clones, the organisms morphed to match their appearance, acting life lifeless mirrors. Prior reports of other crashed clone ships revealed the existence of one such group known as the Mariposa Colony. Initial investigations suggest that replicative fading caused the clones to rapidly deteriorate. We could act to prevent further breakdown of these organisms. There is no need to get involved in the natural process of decay. I like the research gain. Let's grab that. End of November officially. That's amazing. They needed time for the prior tenant to find a new place to live. Yeah, that's understandable. When looking around for resources, one of our field experts accidentally shifted a dislocated circuit, awakening the mass of clones. Hundreds of synthetic eyes clicked open, eager to scan our every move. Unable to stand due to advanced degeneration, the clones have instead extended their rusty index fingers to point at the nearby shipwreck. The word Clonopolis is painted in crimson red on a broken door surrounded by twisted symbology. Focus our efforts on drawing up a report of the symbology before investigating the shipwreck, which gains me a pile of research. Or search the shipwreck. Skip the symbology and dedicate all attention to scanning the shipwreck. No, we need the symbology. Okay. Clonopolis Cult. Scanning the ship, our analysts eventually discovered many returned letters describing desperate pleas to be rescued from Sandaran 3A, as well as rejected citizenship applications and finally a classified document detailing procedures for bodily modifications. As our most senior archaeologist flips to the last page of the classified document, she learns that the clones eventually started a cult centered around hunting any humanoid survivors who crashed on Sandaran 3A. The cult's purpose was to harvest organic body parts for the clones to use in the hopes of slowing down replicative fading. Condemn the clones. Send out a public declaration condemning the Clonopolis cult in order to warn our people of the dangers of engaging with synthetic beings. Dismember the half-clones. Take no risks and disassemble the clones piece by piece. That would gain me some unity, which I need. Or we can gain some, uh, wait, no, that's influence. If we gain is influence, which we need, or we can gain unity. I think we're going to go with the unity, though. We'll condemn the clones. Bad clones. Organ harvesting is bad. This is pretty dark. Yeah, there's even been a few instances on Star where there's been a little bit of Stellaris terminology in use, even though there is no concept equivalent in the Star Trek universe. So it is pretty obvious that it is, yeah, it it's uh, it's definitely the child of Stellaris. I have two spy ships. Where should I send the Laguin? We're actually pretty friendly with the Klingons. I don't think I'm going to spy on them right now. The Cardassians, on the other hand. It 
it makes for a novel take on the setting. Yeah, I was commenting early, right at the start of stream. I love the fact that they called it Star Trek Infinite, because right now this is the most boring, limited part of the game. Assuming, you know, it does reasonably well and uh, picks up some users and whatnot, this is a paradox game. There's likely to be an awful lot of extra content for this. They're going to release expansions and, you know, updates, DLC for it, plus the modding community is going to get their hands on it. There is so much Star Trek lore that they can dive into. This basically takes place at one point in Star Trek history, and you've got four empires that you can potentially play as. But this is like maybe it starts... You start a new game and it's maybe 20 years before the next generation. There are so many more eras of Star Trek that we know about these days that they could set it in, like the time of Strange New Worlds and the original series. You know, uh, way back in Jonathan Archer's day with Star Trek Enterprise. All the way forward to the next millennium with the, you know, the most recent series of Star Trek Discovery. They've got alternate timelines that they could explore. They've got the mirror universe that they could explore. There's just, it really is infinite possibilities for what they could do with this game. A new tradition to teach us more about ourselves. Tradition, huh? Okay, so it looks like we had, we completed research. Now we can potentially go into defense again. So we've done Oath of Citizen? Have, no, have we? I think we have done this one. No, these are ones we can do, never mind. Oath of Citizenship. Our people renew their commitment to our shared ideals every morning together before the workday begins and before all public events. We stand together against all adversity. Soldier jobs provide unity. Secure borders. As exploration of our galaxy ushers in a new era of trade and cultural exchange, our sense of self-preservation remains of pinnacle importance. Strict vetting on all who cross the boundaries of our territories is expected. Starbase hull points gain a plus 50% bonus. Cultural attraction. <laughs> In an age of weapons that can annihilate star systems, peace is a matter of superior firepower. Daily shield regen plus one. I'm kind of liking the secure borders one. I think we'll go with that. Tradition accepted. We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. That's the Lionheart again. Research model. New technology has passed testing protocols. Ah, now we've got photon torpedoes. It seems a little late in the game for photon torpedoes. Didn't they have those in Kirk's day? And we're years after Kirk. We're into TNG era here. We're only now learning about escape pods? What are you... Wow. <laughs> mineral processing system. I think we'll go with this one. I do need more minerals. I'm pretty sure we knew about the possibility of escape pods back in the 20th century, okay? And they had equivalents a lot earlier than that. We have surveyed a new star system. Uh, the Sentinel, okay. Discovery logged. Sandaran 4. A cargo beacon from a missing shipment has been detected near Sandaran 4. The beacon matches that of a shipment that was found to be traveling under tampered documents. Uh, 
Stellaris is like that with some of the technologies being a little odd for the timing of researching them. Yeah. I was hoping that wasn't going to be a thing with the uh, with Star Trek, though, but I guess it is what it is, right? We have lost a true Federation parent. Early terraforming equipment has been discovered buried in the wastelands of Marzen. An emergency habitat was excavated nearby along with the remains of a group of clones with identical genomes. Our scans showed that a reactor meltdown in one of their terraforming engines covered the planet in dangerous radiation shortly after the clone's arrival. There's a lot of clones in this playthrough, I gotta say. A message left in the habitat says the clones found a way to reverse these critical problems and complete terraforming Marzen. However, due to the unsurvivable environment, they perished only days later. We will finish what they started. Present day technologies will allow us to terraform Mars and where the clones could not. Issue special project, terraforming the impossible. Salvage the terraforming equipment. The early terraforming equipment from Mars and will be salvaged for materials. No, no, no. Mission log updated. Now, where the heck was Mars and? Oh, Marzen's over here. So I'm going to probably want to get that into my empire. Also, welcome on Insage. It's good to have you here. Uh, what's this? First contact event pending. All right. Oh, by the way, I have to apologize. Ultra showed up, and I spaced on shoutouts. Everybody should be following Ultrasaurus. Just happy to be here. Yes, but you need to shout out. She's a wonderful friend of the channel. Longtime friend of the channel now. How long have we known each other? I don't even want to think about it. It's been years. But a true delight. Always very kind and welcoming unless you're a jerk and really really just fun to play with she plays a lot of simulation games and um, just ugh. one of my favorite places on the internet to spend time too long yes Star Trek fan since the early days of TNG and I have most of the Stellaris DLCs so I thought I'd check out the game this is yeah this is an interesting one for Star Trek and Stellaris fans because this game actually is a fork of the Stellaris code base. It looks a lot like Stellaris because it effectively is Stellaris, heavily customized by the team that created the most recent Master of Orion game. Uh, they, they took Stellaris and they have extensively reworked the way the Empire system works to create a unique Star Trek experience where you can play as one of the major powers. You can be the United Federation of Planets, the Klingon Empire, the Romulan Star Empire, or the Cardassian Union. But they have set it up so that you do not have to play according to canon. You can take the Federation into a more authoritarian, sort of uh, totalitarian, iron-fisted regime if you want. You can't actually turn the Federation into a carbon copy of the Klingon Empire because the two don't really share pathways. You know, you've got certain paths that you can go down as the Federation and you've got other pathways you can go down as the Klingon Empire, so you can make them resemble the other more, but you are it's not like Stellaris where you're all working from the same set of options. You've got unique options per Empire, so you can kind of go in that direction a little bit if you want to force it. The easiest path will usually be to follow canon, but... Uh, you can, you can take them down multiple paths and have just all kinds of different experiences. And it's, uh, I haven't played enough to really be able to give a coherent description of it yet, but it's, this is a very exciting game. Ah, it's just true, Ultra. You know it. I can already see multiple differences in the Stellaris mechanics. Yes. Yeah, they each have their own trees. And... The thing that excites me more than anything else is that um, this starts roughly 20 years before the start of the next generation with the whole, you know, uh, the Klingon-Romulan-Kittimer massacre. 
deal. And so it's kind of tied to a single time point. But this is a paradox game. You know there's going to be DLC for it. There's going to be expansions. There's going to be all kinds of extra content. And they've got the whole swath of Star Trek history, including alternate universes and alternate timelines that they can play with. So once they start getting into that and going beyond just these four empires and the the two areas of the galaxy that we know about so far, because we only get the Alpha and Beta quadrants, there's nothing yet for the Delta and the Gamma quadrant. You know, they can, they can expand into all of that, all of space and time, and it's going to end up being wild. So yeah, th this is this is a very cool game so far. I gotta say. Uh, what are we doing? That's first contact event pending. Okay, let's unpause and keep going. Oh no! Shut up, Wesley. Starfleet Headquarters has received a hailing transmission from an Ensign Wesley Crusher of the USS Enterprise Starship. The Ensign reports to have landed on classified information that could be considered a matter of national security. He is reaching out directly to Starfleet as the crew of the Enterprise have requested him to shut up, Wesley, dismissing his concerns. Despite the crew's stance, our database proves the Ensign to be somewhat of a prodigy with a reliable track record. Let's hear the Ensign out. Uh, which might not be doing him any favors because Picard will probably be pissed off that he went behind his back. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Speak up, Wesley. Upon welcoming Ensign Wesley Crusher from the USS Enterprise at Starfleet Headquarters, our officials were given a set of classified files. The data details an upcoming Maquis attack. Wow, that's early for them on the Federation's presidential office in Paris. The Ensign reports to have found the files during a field mission stored on the central computer of a Bajoran ship. Shortly after retrieving the data, the vessel exploded. Starfleet Intelligence has confirmed the legitimacy of the information, which will be instrumental in thwarting the attack. They have thanked Ensign Crusher and requested the crew of the Enterprise issue him a formal apology. It appears it isn't the first time Crusher has been dismissed due to his age or rank. Recommend Ensign Crusher for promotion. That would gain us some unity. Issue a warning to the Enterprise. Dismissing crew members of any rank without good cause is against our code of conduct. <laughs> We're not reprimanding Picard, okay? He had re good reason. But we will recommend Wesley get promoted. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> We've settled a new world. Oh. Denobula. Excellent. Okay. Uh, what's our current resource situation? They are costing us production of energy. Let's make an energy district. And a mining district. And that's all we can do right now. Okay, that's fine. Now, speaking of planets we've colonized recently, how is... Oh, that's... I can't do resource production. Mining district on Ryza probably wouldn't fit very well anyway. Let's do a city district. No, I can't do that. Okay. How about buildings? I can't afford buildings. Never mind. All right. This is my problem with this game, and also with Stellaris. I have pretty much exactly the same problem. I always ignore my planetary development, and so I always find myself short on resources. Cardassian Manufacturing. We found an enormous cache of smuggled weapons and propaganda pamphlets of Cardassian origin among the last cargo recovered from Sandaran IV. The documentation matches the missing shipment and has been discovered to be fraudulent. 
Whoever tried smuggling this abandoned shipment of weapons has long since covered their tracks, but it appears the individual was hoping to arm a secret faction of pro-Cardassian guerrillas operating near our borders. The smuggled weapons are of shoddy construction with poor materials and wide tolerances that have led the majority of them to suffer catastrophic failures when test-fired. We could scrap the smuggled weapons, which would gain us some alloys. The weapons will be broken down to their base components and repurposed. Or raise public awareness about the dangers of propaganda. The smuggled pamphlets and weapons will become the subject of a campaign to prevent the spread of misinformation, which gains us unity. We're doing that. I think he'd make a good emperor someday. We should promote him. Yes. <laughs> my usual approach is production for empire stability. I've had even enemies ask for my protection due to that. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, the Malkorian Republic. We are receiving a message from the Malkorian Republic. They have used their own set of first contact protocols to communicate with us. Transmission incoming on screen. You are now in the presence of the Chosen of Nilram Messer, our Chancellor, so be respectful. We Malconians are always happy to contact lesser forms of life in the hopes of enlightening them. Cast aside your preconceptions and join us for a formal meeting so that we may know what your so-called United Federation of Planets is all about. We're pleased to meet you. Okay, what happened? New Cass's belly, new first contact aborted. Uh, or, you know, they contacted, uh, contacted us first, so we can't first contact them. And election. Campaigning to elect a new president is underway. We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. USS Silversides. Uh, this is where all that Sandaran stuff was going down. So let's go survey this one here. Yet this big streak across the galaxy is some sort of interstellar highway where warp travel naturally happens faster. So I've got ships at either end of it exploring out into space that we otherwise wouldn't have reached as quickly and easily. We Federation lost a true Federation hero. Through hard work and experience, scientist Sean Brenner has developed new skills. Uh, okay. Mm. Augmented CNS engineering trade gaining the following effects. Research speed of materials gains a bonus and later experience gain gets a bonus. That's really good, excellent. I just think everyone should grow goatees. That means they're good guys, right? I think it's the opposite. Costly and time-consuming efforts need to be made in order to research what is happening to the Romulus sun. Investigate further. How are you doing, Greeny? It's really good to see you. Let me get more shout-outs here. Hey, man, what's going on? Let's play shout-out roulette and see if the shout-out command works properly this time. Hey, it worked. Excellent. Thank you, Ultra. Guys, you should go follow Greeny Trini. He's not actively streaming at the moment due to circumstances, but with a little bit of luck, he will be back up and streaming again very soon, and you do not want to miss that because he is an awesome, awesome streamer plays a lot of great RPGs and is a fantastic guy to just chill out and hang around with. Okay.
Just waiting to hear back from the offer that was made. I will keep my fingers crossed, Greeny. That is awesome. We have surveyed a new star system. Ruler elected. A new ruler has been elected. President Bras Sarani will rule until the next election, which will take place in 2376. A silent alarm has been triggered in the soul system. Okay, so we need our spy ship here to do some counter espionage. And then we've also finished surveying this system out here. So I guess we can't go down there and survey that planet or that system. So let's go here. We will do our best to understand you. our current relationships with nearby civilizations and our options for making contact with them. Here we can declare war, establish alliances and trade deals, or view our intel level on our allies and rivals. Our relations with other civilizations can range from terrible to excellent. Many of the finer points of diplomacy, such as making mutually beneficial agreements, require a higher level of relation. Envoys can be sent outside our borders to complete first contact procedures and to improve or harm relations with our neighbors. Understood. Okay, I want to improve relations with the Betazoid. Uh, let's see. Let's send her there. Our envoy has improved relations with one of our contacts. West mission. Completing this mission is sure to improve their opinion of us, however, failing to complete the mission is sure to harm their opinion of us. Interesting. I need to pay more attention to our contacts. Had some conversations late last night with the guy who runs the campground. I'm pretty sure that a spot will be a sure thing. Just gotta secure the camper and then internet. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. We will do our best to understand you. The spread metric tracks our civilization's growth, including relevant data on all systems and colonies within our borders. If our administrative capacity cannot keep up with our expansion, technologies, traditions, and leaders will all become more expensive. Understood. We currently have positive relations. Last month it changed by zero. Uh... Insult, send, gift, intervene in war, start integration process. Start the integration process to assimilate the Betazoid houses. Permanently assimilated civilizations become part of ours. We will also gain their unique civic, moving us closer to a diplomatic victory. Integration process need to be accepted. Okay, I can't even send gifts, interesting. I now have ideas about Knight of Pies. Basically, just have an open door. People can just drop by and pick up their pies. That's... Yeah, that could work. All right, we're starting to get some more stuff here. So let me take a look. Do we have a planet here? Tell our prime. Uh, minerals into alloys. Okay, that's how you do it. Oh, I think... I can't really build any more buildings. Okay. We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. Just trying to survey everything right around the Klingons, I guess, at this point. Next guest star for the stream. Nice. 
Discovery logged. A stockpile of food has been discovered in a large artificial cave on Andra 6. The cave also contains an unknown, highly unstable energy source. We have surveyed a new star system. Hang on, hang on. Give me time to react here. Ah, oh, the Melkorian Republic, okay. Um, let's survey back this way and start trying to get a corridor along the highway. We've detected a non-Federation vessel. Excellent. First contact opportunity. They will undoubtedly reach us first. The leader has gained a level. our technology coming along okay so automated living spaces will be done soonish oh silent alarm again okay Failed Genesis. Our researchers discovered an early prototype of the now infamous Genesis device in the artificial cave on Andra 6, surrounded by masses of long dead plant matter and a vast stockpile of food. We may assume Andra 6 was a planned site for Regenesis and abandoned when the prototype failed to fully transform the cave into a lush paradise as intended. Scans show the stockpiled food is uncontaminated and is likely still edible. However, the Genesis device is degrading rapidly. If left active, it could turn into a doomsday weapon. Repurpose the supplies, which would gain us a pile of food, or stabilize the Genesis device. The prototype will be stabilized and monitored to prevent a catastrophe similar to those that have already occurred with such devices, which would gain us unity. We're doing that. take a look at wolf 359 because we've got a colony here i think don't we do we maybe not yes we do okay slots can be unlocked by building i think that's a bug i don't think that's supposed to be underscore ufop <laughs> Or upgrading your reassembled transport ship shelter. Uh, let's... Can we... Can we up, upgrade to planetary administration? Uh, I need minerals. But I don't need many minerals. One thing that I've realized, we these campgrounds are actually really system. useful for people traveling. Cheaper than a hotel. Yeah, yeah, actually, um, when I was younger, my family took me on a number of vacations into the States, and we often system. stayed at campgrounds. Okay, so this is Jandira. this one and then I'd like to explore this black hole over here now we also had this one Irava let's go there extremely bare bones is a place to crash bathhouse and laundromat nearby yeah Receiving a message from the 
Pelion Republic. They have used their own set of first contact protocols to communicate with us. Transmission incoming on screen. It brings us great honor that the mighty United Federation of Planets have chosen to explore our little corner of the galaxy. I apologize for my current disposition. I wish I could be happier for this historical event, but recent times have not been kind to the Pelian people. Greed and selfishness have put us at great peril, but bear in mind that throughout all adversity we have persevered and prospered. Good to meet you. Here, but lurking while I get some stuff done around the home? No worries, Ultra. You do what you gotta do. It's just a pleasure to have you, as always. New Cassis Belly. Oh, and three minute warning, guys. We have a break coming up in three minutes. Which I need to make some more coffee. Uh, okay, we were looking at Wolf 359. I want to take a look at their... There we go. Upgrading. Perfect. We have surveyed a new star system. And drop. Okay, and similar to the other one, I kind of want a, a string of systems that are easy to reach from the highway. Can we not? What's going on? What the? <laughs> oh, that's weird. Okay, uh, maybe we're reaching our limit there. Let's survey that instead. Hey, Captain Picard, how's it going? We're about to start a break in a minute or so, but it's good to have you back. The break won't be very long. I just need to go make some coffee. Like three and a half to five minutes or thereabouts. Sixty-one unity. I should be able to grab this one then. Let's get that star base built. Exactly, Picard, exactly. Okay, I think it is about time that I take that break, so if you guys need to get up yourselves, grab some food or a drink or a snack or whatever, this is a really good time to do so. We are going to have some ads run for about three minutes. So I'm going to run some clips over, well, not over them, but I'll run some clips. So if you do have to watch ads, first of all, thank you. And second of all, you're not going to miss anything. So I will be back in just a few. The only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. You live alone with this droid. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please, <laughs> you will be safe there. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Your move. Oh my. Oh, oh, okay. That's a little more. I need two more salt, Peter, and I should be able to do it. Lucas has to stop picking up books. We 
going to end up with them everywhere. I think we're going to use the Michael Bolton Doug trio here that we just evolved. That'll buff out. It's not a problem. Oh. Shh. What the hell, game? Back. Get back here. Where are you? Warning. Shields are offline. Warning. Ship in critical condition. There we go. There you are. What? Ruined. That was a perfectly lined up shot. was not the best idea. Nice. I've always kind of just thought that maybe it's um, another term for fast travel. Oh my god. Okay. It is another word for fast travel, but with altitude. Got it. God, you build the actual family tree? What? Oh, wow. This is really hecking cool. What the hell? What is wrong with this blasted thing? A blank? There better be a second round in here. Otherwise, it'll be plan B for you, I'm afraid. Ah, that's got it. Here we go. <laughs> ah, golden duck, cracking job. Okay, I am back.
Thank you, Nabi. Thank you, Instara. Oh, what do we have here? Research oh. model. Okay, my spread is getting to be too much, so that's why it popped up that alert earlier. I, I'm doing too much, so creating this new outpost is not going to help. New technology has passed testing protocols. Auto-organizing self-cleaning homes with a wide variety of configurable preferences reduces daily stress levels in the population. That sounds amazing. I need that. Greeny, you need that too. Everybody needs that. Uh, consulate. Etiquette for negotiations with our galactic neighbors is discussed and determined. You would think we would already have those, but all right. Administration Hall. Let's take a look at Seoul. Oh, I, well, I didn't actually mean the sun. Where's Earth? Where the heck is Earth? What the heck? There we go. Upgrading planetary administration. Build, oh, building city district. Can't do that. I need 43 minerals. Okay. surveyed a new star system. Excellent. Construction finished on schedule. And our spread problem is even worse. Excellent. Detected a non Federation vessel. Excellent. All right. Um, I think I've got a few more resources now. Where was Earth again? Over here. La oh, yeah, okay. Never mind. Our primary metric for categorizing our POPs is the job they perform. Jobs can be further categorized into strata, seen in the expanded view. Different jobs produce different types of resources and require an upkeep cost. Beyond their work lives, our POPs also need housing and amenities. All of these should be carefully managed to avoid a decline in planetary stability. Ugh. It's a good thing this is basically just the tutorial game. One day I will learn how to play this game effectively. And by this game, I'm talking about both this one and Solaris. I kind of suck at both of them. But they're really fun. Lionheart, where are you? Okay, you're over here. Let's see about surveying there. We May have your low moons intel be ever about peaceful. Civilization. We can increase our intelligence Federation news abilities by sending our spy ship to perform oh my missions God. on their colonies and star bases. Through hard work and experience, okay. <laughs> Too many events all at once. What the heck? 
We have low intel about this civilization. We can increase our intelligence gathering abilities by sending our spy ship to perform missions on their colonies and star bases. Understood. Okay. So that's what the spy ships are for, other than counter espionage. Let's send an envoy and improve relations. Mr. Mercer, we will send you. Meanwhile, we're going to take this. Uh, where's my spy ship? Win. You're going to go. No. Move here. Oh, interesting. Okay. It's going to use the highway. I guess that makes sense. We've detected a non-Federation vessel. May your moons be ever peaceful. Intel 15. We currently have terrible relations. Last month it changed by plus two. With that trend, we will have tense relations in 32 months. And quietus, yes indeed. Various travelers have reported sightings of a gigantic cubic structure moving through space, similar to the one we encountered many years ago. It is still unclear whether this is simply an artificial structure or something more sinister. Tracking it down would require the completion of a delicate structural integrity scan project. Perhaps this time we will find more than just wreckage. Track it in the log. Mission log updated. After several years, our settlers have discovered Risa to contain a vast array of ancient ruins. Further investigations are necessary to, in order to determine what resources these sites might hold. Mission log updated. Uh, first impressions are that it is really, really awesome, and it's also in the worst state we're ever going to see it in because this is a paradox game, and I guess the reason they called it Star Trek Infinite is that they basically have infinite options for expanding on this game. So it's a lot of fun right now. It is basically a Star Trek-specific version of Stellaris, and it's really, really good right now. And it's only going to get better as they delve into more of the Star Trek timeline and the alternate timelines and the alternate universes and just everything else that they have. I mean, heck, they haven't even done the entire galaxy yet. We only have the Alpha and Beta Quadrant. There's no Gamma Quadrant yet. There's no Delta Quadrant. They've obviously left the map, you know, undone so that they can move that up there and give us the rest of the galaxy as well at some point in the future which is going to be interesting so massive potential and already a really good start and yes uh, the cubic structure is most definitely the Borg they're not a playable faction in the game but they are a kind of galactic level threat Research model. New technology has passed testing protocols. Mineral processing facility. Phase payloads. Standardized intrepid schematics. Interesting. A standardized line of production for our intrepid class starships shortens manufacturing time and reduces waste. Replicator hulls. Next generation matter energy conversion allows us to replicate more complex resources. Well, that's our cheaper option, so let's get that one quicker. If the Borg are playable, they always end up getting neutered because otherwise they'd run over everyone else. Yeah, I'm sure the mod community will make a playable version at some point. Okay, let's take a look at Earth again. I need to do a better job of micromanaging my planets. Um, (laughs) 
lacking 199 resources. Damn it. Okay. What the heck is the Enterprise up to? Oh, they're still surveying. Okay. We have lost a true Federation hero. Discovery locked. Erla Darren 5A, a thorough magneton scan of Erla Darren 5A has revealed subspace fractures created by a polaric explosion of unknown origins. All right, Picard, do some research, please. This should be easy for you. My monthly gain is, you know, it's only in the negative by less than one actual unit, so hopefully we can turn that around. in the build queue. Oh, but we can do more building slots here. Construction in progress. We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. Okay, Sentinel. Let's go check out this black hole. We will do our best to understand you. Can't assign leader to the same occupation. Oh, we already have somebody still doing that. Okay. Never mind then, we're good. Our energy credit supply is rapidly decreasing. Try not to let any resource fall below the critical threshold. Understood. Investigating the origins of the polaric explosion that created the subspace fractures on Aralidaran 5A has led to the discovery of a landscape filled with currents emitting accelerating electric charges in a smooth, continuous wave. Landing near this area has had catastrophic consequences for all technology on board the USS Enterprise D. Our replicators suffered a malfunction for many hours in which they materialized all objects completely unrelated to the request made by the user. Moving further away from the currents has caused the replicators to readjust. Their functionality, however, still leaves much to be desired. For now, they provide only a 50% chance of following orders. An amethyst or silverware? Receive minerals from the stone or alloys from the cutlery. <laughs> One of two options will happen. 50% chance of a thousand minerals or 50% chance of a hundred alloys. A national emblem or Bajoran Hasparat. <laughs> so unity or food. A phaser or a diplomatic pin. 50% chance of 1,500... Oh, man. Okay, I'm actually going to do this one because I need both energy and unity. Or, um, actually, that's influence, not unity. I think we got the energy, which is good. That buys us time. <laughs> Can't tell you what to do. Excellent.
have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. Leader has gained a level. Ah, uh, that was the black hole. Okay. I've never played the Star Trek tabletop RPG, but I have a bunch of PDFs of the we system. It looks really system. good. Oh, you son of a gun, you stole that from me. We have surveyed a new star system. Wow, that was too really quickly. Beta yellow. Go there. And Molgath. Ruins uncovered. After several years, our settlers have discovered Denobula to contain a vast array of ancient ruins. Further investigations are necessary in order to determine what resources these sites may hold. Mission log updated. I'm playing it for the first time this week and unbelievably excited, hoping to get a campaign going in the near future. Yeah, it looks like a really, really good system. I love me a good space TTRPG. I've played various Star Wars RPGs in the past, and they've always been a lot of fun, but I've never had a chance. Actually, that's not true. There was a tabletop RPG based around Star Trek in the 80s. I did have a chance to play that, but only very briefly. And uh, it was obviously nothing like a tabletop system you'd get today. Um... We have surveyed a new star system. So much surveying. actually do. Safest path, automatic counter espionage. Oh, that's... Get them to automatically do that. That's a good idea. Now, I thought I could send these guys on orders to, like, give them orders to do stuff. How can I... How do I send them on missions to gather intel about people if we can't actually May your moons be do ever stuff? peaceful. Don't meet that many other McClouds. Oh, very nice. Can't remember if I mentioned this before, but we appear to be of the same clan. Well, I mean, how much do you know about the clans of McLeod? There's more than one of them. We have surveyed a new star system. Oh, there's another highway. Look at this. That's cool. And that goes all the way out there. Okay. We have to investigate. Construction finished on schedule. Yep, Lewis and Harris. Construction finished on schedule. Construction of a mining station. Excellent. We desperately need energy. I think my empire is going to collapse, and honestly, that's probably for the best, because I can start again using what I know now, and it'll probably be a lot better. Leaders gained a level. Lorak is leveled up. 
New technology has passed testing protocols. Phaser auto array. I should probably upgrade my fleets fairly soon. Plasma launcher, mining stations plus 10% might not be a bad. Energy from mining stations, yes. Need that. Okay, fine. Automatic counter espionage, what the heck. Just let it do its thing. Yeah, I don't know about you, uh, Captain Picard, but I am of the clouds of Lewis. So there's got to be another black hole that this leads to, and it looks like it's probably this one, or... Yeah, I would guess this one. We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. You know, if we do have a new highway, though, let's go survey that and see how that works out. Ah, Harris. Well, they're still... They're still connected. In fact, I believe the original House of Lewis went basically extinct at one point, and Harris had to resurrect the line. spread is a strain on your empire's administrative capacity and will increase the cost of technologies, traditions, and leaders. Okay, so we got to get that under control. Let's look at Earth. Oh, can we do Luna as well? Maybe not. Wait, hang on. Terraform? Oh, we need, we need terraforming. You would think the Genesis device would help with that, but I guess not. We have surveyed a new star system. Lionheart, thank you. Okay, the Enterprise is almost at the end of the black hole there. X-Wing, how's it going? It's weird that it doesn't have the entire highway system noted here. That's interesting. Well, let's put them to work out here and we'll kind of reconnect things out that way. It is excellent so far, X-Wing. It's basically Stellaris, but heavily, heavily, heavily we customized for Trek. Through hard work and experience, scientist Akash Garcia has developed new skills. Augmented CNS, a research speed for materials and leader experience gain. Excellent. Oh, nice, X-Wing. How was the concert? And when I say this game is excellent, I mean the game itself is excellent. My playthrough of it is kind of scuffed. I am slowly collapsing in a bad way, but that's okay. Okay, Sentinel. Let's go check out this binary system up here. Oh, sorry, trinary system. My bad.
three hours of non-stop amazing vibes or charisma on stage is unreal and Swifties are unreal and loud. I would expect no less. Okay, so they're surveying the highway node. We have surveyed a new star system. I probably forgot to have the Enterprise actually survey the other end of the highway node, didn't I? Yeah, I think that's exactly what happened. <laughs> uh, well. Uh, this could be either this one or this one, but the angle kind of looks like it might be this one. Yep, okay, that looks like it. We have not lost any Enterprises. In fact, I don't think I've lost a single ship so far. At least, not permanently. We have lost a few, but they always came back. Six minerals. Good. That means I can build something. Um, let's take a look at Ryza. I don't really have much of anything on Ryza yet. We're going to do an energy district and a food district. And that, and that's all we can do. Okay, so we'll let those construct and then we'll see where things go. Hey, we're back in the positive on energy credits though, so that's good. But we only have one Enterprise. We have the Enterprise D. I am kind of curious to see if the D will eventually be destroyed and replaced with the E, which would be a very sad day. Maybe an unpopular opinion. I'm not a big fan of the Enterprise E. I think it's very much a warship, and I'm not fond of those. I like the more exploration-oriented design of the D. Our growing commerce between the stars has come at an unexpected cost. Pirates have raided our trade vessels. Witnesses report these interstellar pirates are a collective of anarchists, career criminals, and other marginalized groups. The interstellar t pirates are targeting our deuterium. Though prisoners' lives were spared, many from the raided vessels were offered to join the pirates if they were swore an oath of allegiance to someone named Tuskless. An alarming development. We will monitor the situation while increasing our outreach programs to youth who may be at risk of joining the interstellar pirates. The E is very much a warship and the D a cruise ship, each a ship of its time. Yes. I agree. I just don't happen to really care for the E that much. Pops defection. We've lost one Pops. They emigrated from our Earth colony to the Cardassian Union's colony of Bajor. Uh, okay. Interesting. Leaders gained a level. President Russ Ronnie has leveled up. Excellent. Silent alarm has been triggered. The D epitomizes Starfleet at its peak. I love it, too, and the seven years of the show made it feel like home. Yeah. I just love the fact that it's so big and it houses so many people and it feels like a little village floating through space with all the amenities, and it's just... I, I, I love that. 
Could be on Sara. It didn't specify, but we've already star we have had mentions of Maquis activity. Okay, leaders gained a level. Silent alarm triggered. System surveyed. Okay, Enterprise, we need you to actually survey this highway node here. Thank you. And then what's this? We can complete a mission. Data, positronic computation. What do Soong type androids dream of? The answer, at least for the Enterprise's Lieutenant Commander Data, is the secrets of our universe. His positronic brain holds 800 quadrillion bits of memory. It would be a terrible waste to leave it empty. System surveyed by the Enterprise, five of five. Effects, positronic computation modifier added, giving the following effects. Anomaly research speed, plus 10%. Anomaly discovery chance plus 20%, research speed plus 5%, recruit data. Hell yes. A mystery is only a mystery as long as it remains uninvestigated. Outstanding. Through hard work and experience, scientist data has developed new skills. Data gains the survivor trait, granting the following effects. Leader lifespan plus 25 years. That explains how he returned in Picard. He gained the new trait. The point Roddenberry tried to make is that no matter what, mankind in the future never loses its hope and positive outlook. Yeah. Very true. We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. Lionheart, we might as well get this nebula surveyed. Hazard Temporal Distortion Region. A dangerous place where time seems to flow with no rhyme or reason. One moment you may feel younger, the next the hull of your ship suffers 10 million years of erosion. Deals heavy damage... Oh, uh... Mm. I'm starting to have second thoughts about surveying the nebula. Whereas some newer Star Trek shows basically throw this out, return mankind to a xenophobic bunch of more primitive people like our 20 to 21st city century population. I don't agree with that. I do not agree with that. What those shows are doing are not throwing it out at all. They are simply giving examples of, you know, contrast so that we have things to compare them to. The characters themselves, they still retain every bit of that hope and positive outlook they just give it a more clear focus to contrast it with may your moods be ever peaceful enter into a migration treaty with the civilization our populations will be able to freely migrate between both empires see i i like the message that gene roddenberry was trying to put out system. there but i think that the way he was trying to put it out there the rules that he had with regards to conflict and drama within the TV shows, they really never served new the stories very well and made the writer's process. jobs infinitely more difficult than they needed to be. Okay, so we got replicator halls. Warp speed plus 20%, advanced warp nacelles. Duranium hulls. Let's go warp speed increase. That would probably be a good thing. Uh, okay. Contrast happened in TNG DS9 too, but the person who wanted to dismantle Data or the Admiral who wanted Earth under martial law was depicted as a minority in the more modern shows. It's our favorite cruise and their outlook that is depicted as being a small bright flame in a dark universe. Well, that would be the contrast, though. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Um, why can we not upgrade the fleet? 
do we need to visit the ship designer, maybe? What do we got here? A small fusion reactor. Warp drive. I guess we don't have a lot of upgrade options yet. Isolinear computer escort. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I guess, wow. My ship designs are stagnant. That's not fun. I don't have a problem with the contrast. I don't like them changing the majority view from optimistic with a small pessimistic subgroup to the exact opposite. I do like it, actually because times change and even if humanity overall has changed times are still going to change and different groups are going to you know arise in power and i i don't like the idea that the star trek universe has to remain a constant that it's not allowed to change and evolve that it has to always be a certain way otherwise it's somehow invalid Ah, there we go. We got the thing done. Good. Silent alarm. Highway node's been fully surveyed. Survey down there. Now, where was our next mission stuff? So we got data. How do we get Troy? Six, oh, successful diplomatic missions. Shaped by her Betazoid heritage and extrasensory empathy, Lieutenant Commander Diana Troy of the Enterprise is trained in understanding the psychology of a variety of species. Her talent for diplomatic relations allows us to carry out even the most delicate of missions. Improve relations bonus plus 15%. We need to research two more anomalies with the Enterprise to get LaForge. We need three successful space battles to get Wharf. Systems in hazards surveyed by the Enterprise. Okay, so maybe what we want to do then, let's get you out of that system, which is really dangerous, and we'll potentially send the Enterprise out to do those surveys. I think Ruddenberry imagined that by that time mankind had evolved enough that they would not fall back into darkness no matter what. Yeah, and that's a beautiful idea. I just don't like it. Because it's as beautiful an idea as it is, it just hasn't been nearly enough time for that to actually be a thing. We're always going to carry that darkness inside us. And if we didn't, if we still held ourselves to Roddenberry's strict vision of what the Star Trek universe would look like, the shows would be almost impossible to write and frankly would have gotten really boring by now. You know what? I'm going to leave the general survey stuff to the other ships. Let's send the Enterprise up here. We're going to survey that. Okay. Um. We will do our best to understand you. Completing this mission is sure to improve their opinion of us. Uh, I don't want to request a mission until I know I can complete it. Or at least until I know I have a good shot at completing it. The basic conceit of the Star Trek universe is that that is not true, or at least that such people will be such a minority that they will never gain power.
I really want to save my channel points for the nothingness, but I feel like you need to hydrate and stretch. <laughs> Go ahead and save your points. I could use more coffee. An unknown vessel of colossal proportions has engaged us with hostility. Our scans show the vessel has advanced shields and heavy firepower. Its bays are large enough to, hire er, to harbor entire fleets of smaller ships. We are receiving a hail. I am Tuskless of the Nausicaan Dreadnought. We will not bow to you. Hand over the deuterium or die. These are the same interstellar pirates who previously boarded and stole from our trade ships. This must be their flagship. Shields up. Oh, it's the Enterprise. We will not be intimidated by pirates. Okay, let's pause. What's going on here? I want to get a look at these pirate fleets. What are their... For, can, we, can we scan? What's going on? Engaging hostile forces. They look roughly evenly matched, if this power gauge is to be believed. Nothing, this is always worth it. We have Come. surveyed a new star system. We lost? Are you kidding me? Tell me I did not just lose the Enterprise. We're receiving a message from the Janai Council. They have used their own set of first contact protocols to communicate with us. While we are glad the first contact procedure concluded without bloodshed, we cannot guarantee your continued safety in Talarian space. Our leader, Leader Merite, knows how to deal with outsiders and he will not tolerate foul play. Try to keep your business here short and we won't have to resort to drastic measures. We're pleased to meet you. Okay. Incoming transmission. I, the Enterprise just got its butt handed to it. Fleet can be repaired. Why don't we do that then? Go back to Earth. Oh, they're lost for the moment. Losing... No, it's, it's not lost forever. But you're right. If I had lost it forever, we would reload. No, it was the Nausicaan Swatai. How are you doing? Good to see you. Stop blowing holes in my ship. No promises. I'm doing pretty good today. This is a lot of fun. I'm glad I played it today. Thank you, Nabi, for the suggestion if you're still here. We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. Commercial packed invitation. May be ever peaceful. Yes. System surveyed. Highway node has been fully surveyed. Let's go survey that one. It's probably not a highway node, it's probably just a black hole, but that's fine. That's an even bigger highway than this one, I think. Playing with the local equivalent of the DMV in the last few weeks, and I will be doing so the next many as well, but other than that, doing good. I'm glad to hear that you're doing good otherwise. Often characterized by having a ring system, some Class T gas giants are radiogenic. These uninhabitable worlds are unsuitable for terraforming. Okay.
I've got lots of minerals. I should probably take a look at some of my colony worlds. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, reassembled transport ship shelter. Can we not upgrade this? What's going on? Get some agriculture. Artisans produce deuterium, food, trade value, and amenities. Construction in progress. Yeah, just so you guys are aware, I, I'm under no illusions that I'm actually going to win this game. I'm playing to learn, not to actually succeed. I just want to kind of figure out how things work and see what we can do with it. Okay, let's get you back to work here. Go survey. This is the run I believe in you, Starfleet believes in you. Thank you, Picard. Dark Maw. Lovely. Research model. We are receiving a message from the Tanugan Anocracy. They have used their own set of first chronotype protocols. Okay. Uh, that's close enough, thank you. Greetings, strangers. I represent Rama Apgar, Inquisitor of the Tanugan people. You may talk freely and ask your questions, but tread carefully, for in our legal system, all accused parties are guilty until proven innocent. We've had some incidents in the past that we'd rather not repeat. Pleased to meet you. New technology has passed testing protocols. Ad ah, administration hall. Excellent. Playing the game is a win in itself. Yes, that's true. That is actually really true. I'm having a, such a good time with this game. That There was a whole thing. Some of you probably missed it, but early, early in the stream, we had a little story event involving a certain Ensign Crusher that was really amusing and pretty cool. I believe he's probably now Lieutenant Crusher. Galactic Cultural Exchange. I think maybe that's the most expensive option, but... Uh, unlocks clearing tile blockers. Maybe we do that. Let's do Thermal Regulator. Speaking of crushers... We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. Just catching up with Picard Season 3 and what the hell is was up with Jack? Oh, I don't want to spoil. Picard Season 3 is beautiful and wonderful and yeah, keep going. Keep going. I might need to rewatch that one myself, honestly. Yes, agreed 100% in Quietus. A society of guilty until proven innocent. You need harsh punishments for false accusations and maybe a lack of privacy. State surveillance would be encouraged to protect people's innocence. They're probably nice people. I'm sure they are. How could they not be?
I enjoyed seasons one and two, even though they weren't great or what I was expecting. But season three so far is just nerd, nerdgasmic. Yes. No, I actually really liked season one and two. I mean, I wouldn't rank it up there with my favorite seasons of Star Trek of all time or anything, but it, they were they were pretty good. But uh, season three is just phenomenal, and I need to get a hard copy of it on Blu-ray, preferably in the card collection, but that's really expensive, so I'm not sure what the chances are. Uh, also, two-minute warning, guys. We have a break coming up in two minutes. So I'm going to take a couple minutes to go around, and it was mentioned earlier that I could we use a stretch. A new star system. That is actually true, and I will be doing that at that time. Um, okay. Survey over here. That looks like a Klingon fleet. Oh, the Enterprise is back. Where are you? They mysteriously reappeared at 61 Signy. When Riker called Picard captain in one scene before correcting himself, I honestly hadn't We've even noticed the mistake until the vessel. correction. Yes. Oh my god, what? Recruit Benjamin Sisko. A promising Starfleet officer named Benjamin Sisko has been nominated for promotion. A veteran of many important missions, Benjamin Sisko's record indicates they are a quick thinker who will perform admirably on and off the field. Benjamin Sisko's previous crewmates all attest they are an asset to the Federation. Yes. Recruit now, please. I got a good feeling about this guy. Yeah, he could be a good one to have on your side. It's true. Okay, Enterprise. Construction finished on schedule. Repair fleet, please. Holy crap, it's almost the size of my starbase. Enterprise fleet has been fully repaired. I like that it's not a ship, it's a whole fleet. That's just how important it is. Also, ads are about to begin, so I'm going to take that break now. If you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack, this is a really good time to do it. I'm going to run some clips, so if you do have to watch ads, thank you very much. But also, you won't miss anything. So I'll meet you back here in maybe three and a half to five minutes. Oh, they've still... <gasps> This is our first direct sighting of an actual ancient guardian. That's so cool. I love it. Maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god. Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! <laughs> Nice. Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? 
You're shitting me. The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. Damn, you need to tell James that one. Oh, hey, my what God. Hey, the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. Oh my god, I've never seen that before. That's amazing. Hello. Okay, so I'm dead. There you are. There we go. Okay, now, Uthgird, we all know your history with these pressure plates. You're gonna be careful, right? No, she's not gonna be careful. You could at least be uncareful without actually just standing directly on it. So that. Okay, I am back. Thank you, Aunt Sara. Hmm. Uh, the Bajoran, or sorry, Bajorans, the Beta Z are expanding. Interesting. We will do our best to understand you. Busy improving relations with Beta Zoid houses. Last month it changed by zero. He's not doing a terribly good job then, is he? Commercial pact, research agreement, migration treaty. Propose integration process. We propose ask to begin the integration process to assimilate Betazoid houses if they... Communications established with the Tolarian Republic. On screen. While we are glad the first contact procedure concluded without bloodshed, we cannot guarantee your continued safety in Tolarian space. Uh, don't know how to deal with outsiders. Try to keep your business here short and we won't have to resort to drastic measures. Okay, thank you. If they accept, we can start the integration process diplomatic action. Which would probably not do our spread any favors. I gotta learn how to get that under control, schedule. I guess. Uh, what did we do? Chicago completed the construction of a mining station in Melia... Melia 4. Okay, so... I don't think there's anything left in my space that I can do construction on. Oh, 
Enterprise. We need to give Enterprise new orders. Let us go and survey this. We have surveyed a new star system. Okay, so that's the Lionheart. Oh, actually, I didn't even notice that one was there. Just go and survey that first, and then we'll come down here. Interesting, they spent a bunch of time in here and did not actually seem to take any damage, and holy crap, is the Enterprise is already here? What the heck? That was fast. That highway is better than I gave it credit for. We have surveyed a new star system. Okay, that's over here. Who are these guys? That's a neutral fleet. Let's go we have survey surveyed that. a new star system. Good. is heading for over here. We'll eventually get over to these two with um, the lion We've heart there. We've detected a non-Federation vessel. Oh, very cool. Klingons are still expanding. How the heck did they get so much spread? They're probably playing the game properly, not like me. Okay, so let's take a look at this system. There's a lot there for them to survey. I wish it would tell me what this little exclamation point is. All right. We will do our best to understand you. Uh, did we not already... Oh. 
busy improving relations, busy improving relations. I guess we'll get Narg to work on this. We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. Hermes. We have surveyed a new star system. We have surveyed a new star system. So many star systems. Receiving a message from the Cairn Democracy. They have used their own set of first contact protocols to communicate with us. Transmission incoming. On screen. A series of soothing images flood the mind of the envoy assigned to contact the Cairn. A placid meadow, a warm tropical beach, a single tree at the top of a windy mountain. A few moments after that, the likeness of the Cairn president, Dollarill, is projected. They appear earnest and forthcoming, as if inviting you to converse and reach an agreement. For a second there, I heard the Karen democracy. The worst democracy. So where is this new people we found? Oh, we might not know. Oh, no, they're right here. Interesting. Okay. So they're kind of stuck between the Romulans and the Klingons. We want to speak to your leaders. Oh my god. type star molecular reversion field the effects of the molecular reversion on living organisms are unpredictable at best and catastrophic at worst so this is probably another good place to send the enterprise once they're done with this area how's our research coming along Okay, so we're pretty close to being done with the advanced warp nacelles, which that at that point we definitely need to upgrade our ships, including the Enterprise. Transmission. May your moons be ever peaceful. An unidentified object has been detected on a direct course for the Catula system. Form a research agreement with this civilization. Both will gain a bonus when researching technologies discovered by the other empire. What mission? Oh. Multilateral accords. Collaborating with other civilizations on matters such as trade, research, and diplomacy is the cornerstone of our interstellar union. The prosperity of the Federation and the entire galaxy depends on the preservation of mutual aid. Effects. Chekhov's Law Edict is unlocked. Multilateral prosperity modifier added for 30 years, given the following effects. Research agreement cost is down by 50%. Uh, commercial pact influence cost is down by 50%. Research agreement effects are up 50%, and commercial pact effects are up 50%. Now, what is Chekhov's law in this context? Because I know a very different Chekhov's law. Usually involves a gun. I think we're going to do that. Yes. So that gives us Grow the Federation... Through peaceful integration of other civilizations, the Federation maintains the, its position in the galaxy as the first union founded on shared ideals rather than birthrights. So we need to assimilate two minor powers. And then empower section 31. 
uh, which apparently we can do right now. Hang on. With us or against us? In the face of an ever-expanding galaxy full of unknown species and strange civilizations, sentiments of fear and prejudice grow across powerful sectors of the Federation. It's critical that covert surveillance is established to control suspicious actors, and that the agents of Section 31 are granted carte blanche to deal with potential foreign threats by any means necessary and away from the public eye. Begin surveillance. 30 pops become loyal. Diplomatic expertise civic is replaced by civilian monitoring civic, giving the following effects. It replaces the governor action indoctrinate pops with the Cardassian governor action reeducate pops. Reduces the chances of a United Federation of Planets pop adopting a foreign principle, and it reduces the success rates of foreign propaganda missions by enemy spy ships. Reduce foreign principle action plus 50%. Reduce foreign propaganda mission rate plus 25%. <laughs> Chekhov's Law of Imminent Gun, yes. Reform the Charters. Our mission has changed. As threats loom beyond our borders, the goals of spreading scientific progress must take second priority to defense, intelligence gathering, and checkmating our enemies before they ever have the chance to attack. Reach Empire Admiral Cap for number of admirals assigned to fleets, two of two. Secure the Timeline Edict? Oh my god. Captain Jean-Luc Picard will resign from his present assignment with Starfleet. The event in a mirror darkly happens. This game! I mean, I'm not in a rush to do this one, but wow. Oh, this was a one or the other option. Damn it, I should not have done this one. Oh well, that's okay. This is our learning one, so now we've learned an important lesson. I would rather have grown the Federation. Expand memory alpha. Can we undo this? That might be worth a reload, honestly. What's the year? 1203, 1201. Let's, let's do this one. Okay, yeah, I don't want to empower Section 31. We're going to grow the Federation instead. Hey, Hex, yes. I mean, that's literally true. This game is forked off of the Stellaris code base and published by Paradox. So it is a very specialized version of Stellaris. Hostile fleet in my borders, what the heck? Get your butts out of my Federation. Kronos. No, I don't a Federation know starbase is under attack. What? Where? That's not a starbase. Catula Station. Oh, they're calling that a star. Oh my god. It's, it's a little outclassed. Unfortunately, I suspect my fleet is probably a little low class as well. We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. May now, your what was this? Be ever peaceful. Research agreement. Yes, please. Survey. How are you doing, Hex? It's really good to see you. I hope you're having a good weekend so far. Hope everyone's having a good weekend so far. Silent alarm. We have surveyed a new star system. Great. Uh, just hold that thought for 
All right, fine. I'll deal with it now. Um, let's go. No. Okay. No. 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 What's this? New civilization. Oh, that's got to be their territory then. Okay. Uh, maybe not go that way. How about go here, and we'll work our way around to minimize time spent in the anomaly. How's the Enterprise holding up here? Doing okay. Making good progress. Now, about this looming battle. Oh, crap. <laughs> I might not be doing so good here. Oh, are the Klingons coming to my aid? What's going on? Klingons, come help, please. Research A new model. tradition to teach us more about ourselves. Mission available. Uh, what's... Oh, the multilateral accords. Yes, we do want to do that one. Trade annex built in star bases. We need a few more of those. We're not empowering... Section 31 this time. Traditions available. Um, cultural attraction. Culture workers provide defense armies. Military bases provide culture workers. Let's do welfare. We're going to adopt welfare. Tradition accepted. Okay. Wait, why are they attacking me? Oh, the Klingons and Romulans are at war. What the heck? Oh, shoot. We the have Kling lost control of the Federation Starbase. The Romulans were our allies and the Klingons went to war with them. That's why they attacked me. <laughs> the interstellar pirates have struck again. Their fierce attack has cost us valuable resources. They came out of nowhere, hit us, then vanished, leaving only the following remote transmission playing on an infinite loop. Join us or die. Consequently, we are now at war with the Klingon Empire. Great. Awesome. So, new playthrough soon. <laughs> I seem to be missing my military fleet. No, actually they retreated. Okay. Let's pull back to Earth. Hostile fleet detected. Oh, they're going to Wolf. Maybe we should go to Wolf. So, um, do we happen to have a shipyard? We do not have a shipyard. Uh, so, how about we acquire a shipyard? <laughs> and maybe a star dock. We have surveyed a new star system. Great. Red alert, taking evasive maneuvers.
919 power. Oh, God. While phaser and disruptor injuries can make even the most battle-hardened veterans recoil, they are nothing compared to the devotion of our injured officers have displayed in the transmissions home to their loved ones from the front lines. The transmissions have created a stronger emotional investment in this conflict for much of the public, but we should be careful in case too heavy a dose of reality results in a possible drop in recruitment. Award the wounded officers. Those who do not recover will be awarded posthumously. A public gesture of support will go far in keeping our officers' morale high. War support 25, unity gained. Use experimental treatments. Our wounded officers will receive the most cutting-edge medical procedures to get them back in fighting shape as soon as possible, which gives us options. There's a 60% chance that the event experimental treatments adopted happens in seven days, and a 40% chance that the event experimental treatments gone haywire happens in seven days. We have to try it. Our wounded officers have been brought back to fighting shape using the latest cutting edge medicine. All pending approvals for these treatments have been given full authorization. We got the good one. Necheyev died. Oh no. I think Wolf 359 is just a cursed system. Multi spectrum shields. Duranium hull lining. Cryo fracking. Advanced starbase construction. Oh, we need ship components. Oh, God. Even with the support of a starbase, our fleet is just so badly overmatched. It's almost like you have to play this with some consideration for warfare. Low stability in Denobula. Construction in progress. Oh good, and they've got another. All or nothing, our counter-offensive measures have proved to be a resounding success. The enemy has taken such severe losses they cannot recover between our operations. If we keep this pace before long, their withdrawal from our allies' territory will become their only path to survival as a civilization? We cannot back down. Though our role remains supportive, we are in this fight for the long haul. We have suffered a terrible loss. Fleet combat stats. Fleet combat and Wolf 359. Uh, we lost the entire first fleet. That's great. Okay. I never built any intrepids. Hostile fleet detected. Oh great. This is fine. What's the worst that could happen? Red alert. Taking evasive maneuvers. It's a star station. You can't make a space station take evasive maneuvers. We have lost a true Federation hero. Of course we have. Fleet detected. Who was lost, evading hostile fleet, the Curie. Uh, 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 oh god, there's a fleet in Denobula too? What the hell? Where's the Enterprise? We need the Enterprise. Oh, they're still surveying the freaking system. Okay, what exactly are they doing? They don't appear to be doing a whole lot. Oh, we 
because I had the game paused. I could, but it would also take some time for them to get back. a new star system can I assign a leader no oh, they're in combat I guess not down into here. It makes it kind of hard to we follow, though. True Federation hero. Born to Trek engineering trade. Research this is fine. I, I don't see any problem here. The Adanian clans. We're pleased to meet you. Don't mind us if we seem a little distracted. Uh, I think they just took over my star. Yeah, they uh, they took space dock. That's great. War Academy. <laughs> and they're bombing Earth. Holding elections, unsurprisingly. <sighs> oh, they've got Vulcan 2 and Wolf 359. This is... This is fine. Is it too late for the Enterprise to come back now? Probably. Uh, Enterprise... I think I've decided this may have to be another early birthday present to myself. Hostile fleet detected. Yeah. It's pretty fun. Come on, Picard. Get a move on. Ground held. Our allies have made the invaders pay dearly for every kilometer of space they attempted to cross. The wreckage of so many ships now orbits the star systems where the battles were fought. It will take years or perhaps decades to clear them. Our side has forced the enemy to recognize the harsh reality that any further lives lost will be lives wasted. Uh, does that mean we can talk to the Klingons? Say, get the heck out of my space, please? How do I talk to the Klingons, actually? Uh, where are they? Planets, expansion, edicts, traditions, contacts. Daggers talk. Money howls. I can't do anything. Mm. 
So far I've been very good and only purchased making it so excellent. The wife forbids me to make purchases in October as come 31st it's my day of birth and I normally just buy everything I want and she hates it. <laughs> oh god. That's got to be painful this year because it's been such a ridiculously good year for games. We have become so spoiled this year. Next year's going to seem very slow. At least I hope it does because it's actually been a problem for streaming. Maybe I should try talking to the Romulans and see if they can send somebody over, since this is all their fault. Where's contacts? Here we go. Jolan True. Uh, we are friendly. Dissolve neutral zone. Dissolving the neutral zone during a truce will decrease our relations with the Romulan Star Empire. We will lose zero amount of opinion, which will recover by 0 0.5 each month. Uh, I can't ask them to come help me. What the... Oh, God. No, I have actually no interest whatsoever in playing as the Klingons or the Romulans or the Cardassians. I just want to play the Federation. Ruler elected. President Davrin will rule until the next election. Unidentified object. I... That's a good question. Victory, mission log... There doesn't appear to be, not at least not down here. Hmm. Hostile fleet detected. Hostile fleet detected. This is where we track our gains and losses ah. in the present conflict. The overall measure of these is war exhaustion, which also serves as metric for gauging each side's willingness to cease hostilities and accept the other's terms. If either side's war exhaustion reaches 100%, the party with the greater advantage can enforce a status quo agreement upon the other. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the problem here. This isn't even my war. This is the war between the Romulans and Klingons I got dragged into. Because I am allied with the Romulans. Oh my god, I should have brought the Enterprise in earlier. You were right on Stara. Hostile fleet detected. Favorite captain. Yeah, I actually gotta say, probably Captain uh, Pike has passed these days. Multi-spectrum shields. Phaser bank. <laughs> Betazoid Houses has been successfully integrated. Look at that. I just grew hugely and gave the Klingons a lot of new targets. Great. May your moons be ever peaceful. Protection pack, yes. Bring your ships, please. Join us or die. Uh, interstellar pirates are at it again. 
Uh, oh, um. We lost the Enterprise. There were two options. Typically, just defend yourself while waiting it out or take it to the enemy empire to help your ally. We have regained control of the rising system and rebuilt our outpost. Oh my god. They are really after Earth. No ships in orbit. Oh god. Yeah, I lost the Enterprise again. Oh, wait. It's back again. Where did where'd they go? I'm sending Cisco with the other fleet. Janeway is awesome, but what about Cisco? Cisco is very cool. He's a very different kind of commander, though. Cisco absolutely was a Captain Guardian. I mean, maybe not for the first few seasons, but he got promoted. And the Enterprise is lost again. Oh, God. Uh, so, how are we feeling about maybe starting a new run? <laughs> now that I've learned a little bit. Only for the first few seasons, he was promoted ca Guardian. By season four, he was uh, Captain. Hostile fleet detected. Low stockpile invasion. At least one of our armies are involved in an invasion. Uh, it goes well. We're being completely massacred by the Klingons. How are you doing, Aranar? Cisco died when the Lagwin was destroyed. Turmoil is flaring up elsewhere in the galaxy. We hope these hostilities will end soon. Okay, I think this concludes part one of our learning learning game. We're gonna we're gonna try a new game and see how well that goes. Different type of captain though, the Navy uses confusing terminology, yes. Greetings, okay. President. I have been assigned to help you on the Federated tips are enabled. Right off the bat... The planet summary screen shows us important details about a world and its people, including its districts, resource production, and consumption rates, current levels of stability, and planetary designation, if any have been set. Planets can be set to be automatically managed here as well. It was a large number of years in-game before I even looked at this let alone changed anything i think maybe we pay more attention to this right from day one a ship ceo is referred to as captain regardless of their actual rank yeah okay how are we looking here we've got decent energy everything seems okay for the start we've got planetary administration starfleet academy research laboratories and we've got a couple of building slots open. We can build city districts and upgrade planetary administration to open up more building slots. Planet specific decisions, orders or practices that can be temporarily enforced by spending some of our resources. Cannot activate automation on capital planets.
I'm going to make an industrial mining district. I don't think I can afford any of these at the moment because of that, but that's okay. Um, we've got a few construction, or sorry, we've got this one is construction, our construction ship. ship. Which is used, this is our galaxy. Most vessels cannot travel unlimited distances, with the exception of science ships. A starship's warp range determines the maximum reach it can move in a given direction. A ship's warp range is determined by its proximity to the nearest starbase. Building star bases will increase our overall warp bubble, allowing our fleets to venture farther into the unknown. Diplomatic constraints, such as other civilizations closing their borders to us, will decrease a starship's warp range. Pay close attention to who allows us to travel freely through their territory. While this map is open, clicking on another civilization's territory can provide some basic information about them. Changing the map mode can reveal different information, such as others' opinions of us, AI attitude, and more. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he did become an actual captain. When this game starts, it would be nearing completion. I'd also, it'd also be roughly when the Kittermer massacre happened. Yeah, the, the year, we just started a brand new playthrough, and the year is 2346. So we've just dealt with Earth. We're gonna focus on that a little bit at first. We have our initial science ship, the Nova. This is our science ship. While all Starfleet vessels are technically science ships, these vessels are specifically designed to survey star systems for resources, research anomalies, and complete special projects. Okay. I think I spent a bunch of resources a little too early last time. Let's go survey this planet here. Our construction ship. What's the richest planet in our area here? Let's go with finishing stuff off in Seoul. So we'll do research station because we can't afford the stuff. New Cassis Belly. Okay, Betazoid houses, Cardassian, Klingons, Majoran. Notifications are small, round icons. Yeah, that's fine. We, we will do our best to understand you. Civilization. Improved Envoys relations. Are our actors abroad. They can be assigned to make first contact with other civilizations or and Bajor. Our union greets you. Improved relations. Hey Amish. Just ate for the first time in two days? That's not a good Incoming thing. I mean it's good that you ate. Two days, not so good. We will do our best to understand you. We will do our best to understand you. Yes. Uh, just because we gained a Cassis Belly doesn't mean they did anything or we that we have any incentive to want to actually make use of it. It just, it's a thing that exists. The Ashes of Kittimer. In the blink of an eye, the relative peace enjoyed throughout the Alpha and Beta quadrants for the past half century lies shattered. A brutal Romulan ambush of the Klingon colony of Kittimer has left over 4,000 dead. Though a Federation ship intercepted the Romulan secret transmissions, by the time they arrived, only a handful of survivors remained. This massacre marks the beginning of a new political era in our galaxy, one of opaqueness, uncertainty, renewed hatred for old rivals, and mistrust among even the staunchest alliances. How we choose to treat others will determine the future of our Federation. Starfleet Command Priority Message. The Cerritos? I guess they fixed the problem with the DLC. Amazing. Prepare second contact protocols. <laughs> awesome, I love it. Independence supported. Romulan Star Empire will now support the independence of the Bajoran Republic. Their overlord must be none too pleased. We will do our best to understand you. Betazoid houses want an embassy. This is our government ship. 
Its specialty is that it can be sent on missions to help our colonies achieve specific economic or military goals. Governors can also be sent to complete unique special projects that are of personal importance to them. I didn't have a governorship before, what the heck? SS Walters. It's a nimble design. Oh, it's uh, still in Stardock. That doesn't help. Move here. Let's get you out of the dock. The bottom of the plot. Our entire intelligence community is hard at work attempting to learn the full truth about the Kittimer plot. Until we discover the reasons behind the Romulan Star Empire surprise attack on the Klingons, our spies will be unavailable to us. Tensions remain high throughout the galaxy. Okay. That's... Huh. Alright. Unusual design. Can I send this down to Beta Z, maybe? I'm gonna leave it where it is. I don't know what's going on there just now. How's our technology? Technologies are where we will dedicate the majority of our research. There are few limits to what our scientists can discover. It is recommended to keep each research slot filled with a scientist whose traits best suit them for their field of study. Once research has been assigned, a priority can be set which will place that technology at the forefront of our efforts. Okay, so you actually need a technology to use the warp highways. I didn't realize that. Oh, there's definitely Fog of War. Unscrupulous deals. Federation residents. Pop growth speed. Let's do residences. Engineering research. Mineral processing facility. Ship upkeep. And foundries. We've got half the galaxy. We have the Alpha and Beta Quadrants. Klingon Empire will now support the independence of the Bajoran Republic. We will do our best to understand you. The contact screen is where we can view all of the other civilizations we have established communications with in the Alpha and Beta Quadrants as well as their opinions of us and our diplomatic options toward them. Jolan True. Uh, okay, I don't have enough envoys. Everyone tends to have it zoomed in because of all the action. Yeah. Yeah, it's similar to Stellaris, only we've still got half the galaxy that they can add into it. I tend to stop eating when I'm really stressed the hell out. Bills have gotten me hella stressed. Yeah, understandable, Amish. Incoming I hope you're able to get through that quickly. Jolan True. Yes. Three minute warning, guys. We have a break coming up in about three minutes. Construction finished on schedule. Research station in orbit of Europa. Okay, I still don't have enough minerals. This is not a surprise. Star bases are the most basic non-planetary units of our civilization. Each star base we build brings a new system into the Federation. 
We can also capture hostile starbases by making claims on them. Starbases can be upgraded to include shipyards and other valuable modules. Their presence in a system also expands our borders and increases the warp range of our starships. Once a starbase is built and that system falls under our jurisdiction, we are free to build research and mining stations there, or to terraform and settle any worlds that may be hospitable to life. Understood. I think I'm going to try to grow a little bit slower this time and build up more than out, if that makes sense. Okay. Fleets are the main organizational unit yeah, of the... Yeah, okay. I don't need that one. Thank you. Shipyard. Colony ship. Can I not do colony ships? I need food and alloys. The mission tree shows the watershed moments in our civilization's possible past and future history. Each node describes a unique culmination of events that have fundamentally changed or will change our social, economic, and civil trajectories. Choose carefully. A timeline is a delicate thing. Scientists assigned to science ships and systems surveyed. So we can finish that one fairly quickly by getting another science ship. So we'll do that soon. Uh, looks like the max game speed is times I knew what this governorship was actually for. All right, guys, I'm going to take that break now. If you need to get up and grab something, this would be a really good time to do it. I will be about three and a half to five minutes, roughly speaking. So uh, I'm going to run some clips. We will have ads going for a few minutes, and if you do have to watch the ads, first of all, thank you. Second of all, though, you're not going to miss anything, so I will meet you back here in just a few. Oh my god, no, don't push me off! Oh my god, Serana. <laughs> Lydia! Guys, if you could stop popping up and shoving me to the side, that would be amazing. Thank you. something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's <laughs> see. Ah, Moving up in the world, eh? So that's it. Got to go. Oh my god, the timing. <laughs> Where did it come from? And he's completely unmoved by what he's just walked in on, too. You have a rifle. Why do you run up to point blank range? Ah! Oh, you picked a very good time to show up again, Uthgur. Thank you.
Nice. One less machine. Sorry, Edgar. This is exactly <laughs> okay. We're getting a replay of that one clip. This is exactly what happened. Now we have to make our way back. Ridiculously overloaded with all these materials. This is still fine. This is still not a problem. <laughs> Yes, I am Lokaius, your wolf god, and now you may take my oath. Abandon your humanity, my boy, and be blessed as wolfkind. It feels like coming home. Transformation? Or oaths? Don't be a flapping fool, Timon. Timon kneels and beneath him a green light pools. Dandelions rise yellow out of the sparse wind-scraped dirt. They grow old and white, throw their seeds, then wilt to nothing. The god rock he kneels upon hums. It cracks somewhere inside. A geode of understanding splits and catches light. Beneath the earth and behind his eyes. Timon! new builder it is wonderful to have you here amongst our desert flock i am burgess chief safety inspector of the sand rock chapter of the church of the light no solicitors go away okay what do i have to do with this oh i think that was just the thing that delivered the thing for the thing fine <laughs> oh, right. Let's not do that again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh, that's just evil. Bah. Oh my god! Don't you think so? There you go. I can't hold the energy. 
me, kid. You all right? Uh, I feel like I just got dropped out of a plane. But at least the reactor's disabled. It feels too much like this is finished. It's not at all finished. I've still got so much more to do. But it's coming along so nicely. I really like what is happening with this place. Let's go for it. Oh. Okay, guys, I am back. Sorry about that. That was slightly longer than I expected. I take it that weird blue bubble with outward winds that pops up is max ship range. Uh, let me see. I wonder if Valheim is more optimized now or if your PC is better able to handle intense loads. I have upgraded my PC since that clip was made. So I've been curious about that myself, but I haven't loaded it up to find out. That was before my big motherboard and processor and memory, uh, you know, upgrade, change out thing. Thank you, Ansara. Let's take a look at Andor. Okay, we can't do a whole lot right now. Love the big fort you made, but it was a slideshow by the end, so it would be fun to see sometime. Yeah, I could probably take a look at that and see what's going on with it. Maybe one thing that I can do, um... Incoming transmission. I'm gonna occasionally build new ships to beep up our security. We will do our best to understand you. Migration treaty, yes. Farmhand still standing by as well? Excellent, Matai. I wouldn't count on seeing Valheim in 2023, but... I'm hoping that 2024 is going to be a little bit slower than 2023 for new game releases. So, you never know. I would like to check that out again. They've got new content now that I haven't seen, after all. Not that I even saw all of the original launch content. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Excuse me? We have the Cerritos? I know it said... But it didn't show up. Where? What? How? Oh my god, it, she's beautiful. <sighs> the leader's menu is where we can hire, dismiss, or assign governors, scientists, admirals, generals, and spies in need of work. Spies... We have the Cerritos. Sublight speed, research speed, particles plus 15%. Research speed, field manipulation, leader lifespan. Research speed, industry. Okay, none of these really look like they would make awesome ship captains. We'll have the Cerritos stand by for now. Special design. Military power 38, rank regular, decent hull and shield points, officer points, 15% officer escape. Does cost us some upgrade. Hey, Zerpy, how's it going? Thank you so much for the uh, follow there. I really appreciate that. Go-to soup. I don't think I have a go-to soup. 
If I had to choose one that would be my preferred go-to soup, it would probably be tomato because it goes so well with grilled cheese. Need to go but enjoyed watching? Have a fantastic rest of your day and or weekend, the Sage. It was great having you here. I really appreciate that. I wonder if we can build new California class vessels. It's probably not going to allow that, is it? Oh, actually, it's ship designer I want. This ship designer is where we can engineer our starships with specific modules. This process is automated by default, but can also be done manually. Note that due to the difference in size between various classes of starships, the number of modules available for each one can change dramatically. Understood. Miranda is my only option at the moment. Never mind. Yeah, so, Guardian, I, I actually, I'm not certain what this represents, but I think you might be right. This might be our warp schedule. limit at the moment. And I believe that gets bigger over time. Construction of a mining station in orbit of Neptune. Okay. stations in Ardana, I think, are being called for here. Stability, 73%. We will do our best to understand you. Protection pact with the Betazoid, yes. We will do our best to understand you. Propose integration process. process has begun. We will do our best to understand you. We accept. Man, that's so early. A new tradition to teach us more about ourselves. The tradition screen is where we can view our civilization's tradition trees. A tradition tree must be adopted in order to access its traditions. Adopting individual traditions costs unity, which is produced by buildings and jobs or earned by completing certain events. A significant amount of unity is required to unlock both tradition trees and the traditions they contain. So it is wise to stockpile as much of this valuable resource as possible. Okay, so we have to choose one or another. We can only do three of these, I believe. So if I choose research again, we kind of lock out development. I assume... I might be wrong about that. But we've also got progress. Bilateral relationships should be established carefully though through diplomacy and mutual understanding. Only then can we hope to share knowledge and build towards universal peace. When adopted, 
On researching a society tech, gain these resources, plus 1,000 unity and plus 500 research. When finished, capital buildings produce officers, plus 2, stability, plus 5, unlock 1 ascension perk slot. You know what? Let's do this this time. We went straight for research last time. Tradition accepted. Death at the hands of a Klingon or assimilation by the Borg? I would say assimilation. Because you have to live with the consequences. First fleet, 10 of 20. I can't afford a new Strother design Miranda. I 100% agree. Give me the warm embrace of death any day over becoming part of the collective. Yeah. Construction finished on schedule. Okay, what did we get here? Mining station in Ardana. Mining stations in Ryza next, I think. We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. All I need now is a new scientist assigned to a science ship, and we should be able to complete our first mission. So maybe we need that new science ship. to unpause the game. Ship. The Kalo, that's our science ship. So we need a scientist. Sukona, sub research speed particles. I'll go with Depav, just because her lifespan is pretty good. Oh, we need to survey 10 systems. Okay, so we're finished with the science ships. We've got those done. So that was a good move. Let's get at her out here. Actually, we're gonna research this one, survey that one. That, if, if the generation is the same as the first game, there's no guarantee it is, but that 
was the site of a highway last time, so we might be able to take advantage of that. Eventually. We're gonna still need that research project, of course. We will do our best to understand you. Curious about the state of this integration. Warp highways are the fast track lanes of the galaxy, allowing even our most warp capable vessels to traverse unimaginable distances in a relatively short time. Travel along warp highways bypasses all diplomatic borders, but requires using specific entry and exit points. Think of them as a sort of navigational shortcut. No one knows whether the warp highways in our galaxy occurred naturally or were put there, but their well-worn subspace composition tells us we were likely not the first to use them. Okay. Let's investigate. Construction finished on schedule. Um. What is this resource? Oh, that's deuterium. Yeah, I guess that's fairly important. Second contact. Order the ship to establish second contact, increasing envoys' improved relations output. Do I have anybody to assign here? President to Prague. Ruling from Earth has gained a level. Cosmologist and pioneer. We have established communications with another civilization. At least these signals appear to be sentient in origin. To formally engage in first contact procedures, we must assign an envoy. A universal translator may be required. How shall we treat them as trusted members? Open hailing frequencies. Oh. Uh, well. Crap. We will do our best to understand you. We don't have an envoy. That's unfortunate. The mirror gazes back. The Federation was built on a foundation of mutual trust and progress. Even in this post kittimer era, when so much is uncertain, we must not lose the values that make us who we are. No matter what new dynamics arise in the wake of this tragedy, we must remain optimistic about the future. We will continue to believe other civilizations are acting in good faith and that our galaxy is a place full of awe-inspiring wonders just waiting to be discovered. Fear will never dictate our actions. 
The Federation will remain a bastion of peace and transparency. We will be consistent in what we do and say. Uh, I don't suppose I can reassign these guys. We have known we were not alone in the universe since Zephram Cochran's experimental warp flight led to our first contact with the Vulcans. In the three centuries since, we have discovered many new sentient and non-sentient alien species. Yet only since our recent string of enlightening discoveries have we been able to fully realize the breadth of that abundance and conclude that our galaxy is not merely hospitable to life, but a cradle for it. Life is the greatest treasure. Quick thinker trait. Shoot, how the heck do you gain new on boys? <clears throat> okay, I guess we just have to stop that for now. That's unfortunate. Mining station in Regulus. Leader gained a level. New technology has passed testing protocols. Research from mining stations. Excellent. We have surveyed a new star system. Phaser Bank. Leader has gained a level. We will do our best to understand you. A new tradition to teach us more about ourselves. Okay, so we have the option of starting any of these, or we can do pioneers. Our place is not one bound to earthly realms, but up there on the endless ether of the cosmos amongst the stars and the strange phenomena of unbound space, which improves our pop growth, colonizer build cost, constructor build cost, science ship build cost, and... Hang on and uh, science ship build cost. Our intelligence agents have concluded their investigation of the Kidmer massacre. The colony's planetary defense system was shut down moments before the devastating series of orbital bombardments that ensued. As many of the witnesses were killed, we are lacking in first-hand accounts of the incident. However, our agents managed to locate the logs of the commander in charge of the Kidmer outpost. The notes point towards the involvement of the House of Moog. Our spies have returned and are preparing a report for the Klingon Empire. We are going to give the log to the Klingons. We cannot share intelligence that could start a civil war. We will withhold information in the name of peace. I would gain intel on the Klingon Empire. A new spy is recruited. Klingon Empire's opinion of the United Federation of Planets changes by plus 50. Kittimer aftershock modifier removed. We're going to give the logs to the Klingons. The other option we had here under progress, material abundance. 
Replicator technology long ago resolved the terrors of abject poverty and widespread hunger. Our abundance can provide our neighbors with the same overflow of resources. Capital buildings on non-homeworld colonies provide administrative capacity plus 20. We're gonna do that one. Tradition accepted. Okay. So what's everyone up to this weekend? Anybody have plans for the remainder of your weekend? I hope you're all having a good one so far. For me, it's mostly just playing out the rest of this stream and then I've got a lot of clip work to catch up on for the rest of the weekend. So I don't know that there's gonna be a bonus stream. Certainly not tonight. We'll see about tomorrow, but I kinda doubt it. But I will, of course, be back as usual on Tuesday afternoon. And maybe Tuesday night as well. You never know. Also, speaking of upcoming streams, not only will... Oh, you know what? I will not be back on Tuesday night because Wednesday... Wednesday is the ninth anniversary of the stream and I'm going to be doing a super long stream that day starting at my normal time at noon and that's just going to continue on into the wee hours of the morning. So minimum 12 hours, probably closer to 15 or 16. Have my mother around tomorrow for dinner, then meeting up with my oldest and dearest friend to discuss D&D &D and Star and STA. What is STA? Star Trek Adventures? That's got to be Star Trek Adventures, right? That's awesome. Let's unpause the game, actually, so that stuff happens. So for Wednesday's super long anniversary stream, I am going to be beginning the stream with a Lego build. We're going to be building the Lego Star Wars Imperial Shuttle. New and then afterwards, I don't know what we're going to be playing, actually, but it's going to be good. Also, we got the Federation residences now. That's excellent. Fast track training, pop growth speed, admiral level cap. See the galaxy, meet new people, sign up now. The conviction to become an officer is the most important requirement for acceptance. Our teachers will do the rest. Looks like we're close to getting mineral ore refi refining as well. Construction finished on schedule. Have your mother around tomorrow for dinner. Yeah, I hope I hope that everything goes well. That sounds like it's gonna be a good rest of your weekend. Research station in orbit of that system there. Let's go to Vulcan next. We're gonna build some mining stations there. Now let's take another look at Sol. We need to look at Earth. Housing quarter. Housing plus four, amenities plus two. Construction in progress. Starbase. Upgrading the starbase will unlock additional slots. You can downgrade starbases? That's amazing. I need alloys. Diversity of life. 
The forest of evolution is rich with trees. Our recent studies of newly discovered life forms in our local region of space have led us to reform our previous theories about the incredible diversity of life in the universe. Simply put, there is no problem evolution cannot solve, even when lacking many components once thought to be prerequisites for life to thrive. From just the small percentage of our galaxy we have explored, it is clear that life will find a means to arise wherever possible, often in the most adverse conditions. Diversity is our strength, or perplexing. I think we're going to go with diversity is our strength. So we gained from some energy credits there. Research model. We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. Okay. Engineering research. Replicator halls. Celestial hollow planning. Deuterium from mining stations plus 10%. Um, I'm liking the celestial hollow planning, actually. No problem, Picard. No problem at all. You did. Wednesday is going to be my anniversary stream. I will have been streaming for nine years on this platform at that point. I'm going to be starting at my new normal time around noon, and I'm going to be starting off with a Lego build before we move on to gaming of some description, which I haven't yet figured out what we're going to do yet. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, it's October, so maybe a spooky game or something. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be doing a complete build of the LEGO Star Wars Imperial Shuttle set, which was gifted to me very kindly by a member of the community here. And then, I don't know what we'll play. The very first game I ever streamed on Twitch was Alien Isolation. So maybe we'll go with another horror-themed game or schedule. something like that. Mining station in orbit of Vulcan. Subspace disturbance. Our remote monitors are showing a massive subspace disturbance passing through the neutral zone. The disturbance is moving at alarming speeds, indicating a species with warp capability. Typically, subspace communications of this magnitude have only been observed when the orders are sent out to a large fleet of starships. Yet, our long-range scans detect no known interstellar fleets present in the region. Monitor the unusual activity in the neutral zone. We will raise our readiness level on this diplomatically neutral sector of the galaxy to detect any incoming threats early, which gains us 2,000 research. We've discovered life on the far side of the galaxy. Proof of the existence of intelligent species beyond those here in the Alpha and Beta Quadrants revolutionizes our present cosmological knowledge, which gains us 3,000 unity. Um... I'm thinking we go for the research. Uh, what is BST? I'm in the Eastern Time Zone. So, noon for me was four hours ago right now. It is 4.07 in the afternoon for me. Their roots grow deep. After five years, Vulcan's old growth forests have been almost completely devastated. Missing engineering vehicles have report been reported along the rapidly disappearing borders of Vulcan's prehistoric woodlands. Some of these vehicles were later found to have been grown into the trunks of old trees as if they'd been swallowed. Nearby roads do have been repeatedly overgrown mere hours after clearing and a number of logging sites found vandalized. There have been no casualties. Let's preserve the forest. Through hard work and experience, scientist Catalina Akabi has developed new skills. Born to Trek. Ah, British Standard Time. Got it. Got it. Yep, nine years. It's been a while. We have surveyed a new star system. 
Wolf 359. Curious how this is going to go. We technically have to cross into the neutral zone. Construction finished on schedule. Sounds good, Picard. I appreciate that. Starfleet is broadcasting a set of personal logs to the entire United Federation of Planets. The message has been flagged as a communique of highest galactic importance. On screen. Stardate 28920.15. As we embark on another faraway mission to the Gamma Quadrant, I yearn for my dearest Titus. Not a day goes by that I do not think of. Starfleet has cut the transmission. Oh. Let's just pretend that never happened. Big, big boost to our spread there. Let's colonize Wolf 359 again. Or do we have a better option? No, this looks like our best option. realized until now that it's a real-time strategy, not a turn-based strategy? Yeah, we had that discussion last time I streamed it, actually. It, oh, what? Okay, I give, uh, where's my, what happened here? Kahlo. At least one of our fleets have gone missing in action. It will take them some time to return and rejoin the ranks. Okay. A new tradition to teach us more about ourselves. I wonder if there is... Is there some kind of... or something like that. Civilopedia sort of thing. The expansion planner is where we can view all possible habitable worlds within reach of our civilization, as well as each one's planet class, which can determine whether or not a world may be suitable for terraforming. We can also construct colony ships here that will transport our settlers and choose which species will be the best fit for that planet's habitat. Planets must be fully surveyed and research completed on all anomalies in the area before a planet can be colonized. The system must also have a star base. Okay. Mission log updated. Aftermath. The USS Kahlo was attacked by a hostile structure while researching the Karaya system. Though badly damaged, the vessel was able to narrowly escape. Initial reports show the crew's brave actions may have disabled or possibly destroyed whatever it was that attacked them. Our long-range scans reveal the structure's wreckage is likely still present in the Karaya system. 
While the survivors are being debriefed, we should locate this evidence and analyze it. Designate an investigation task force. Okay. back. Can you guys excuse me for just a few minutes? I actually need to take a really quick break again. Trying to deprive me of my... Oh! Oh, damn it, Serana. Oh my god. And this is kind of a big assumption. Assuming that uh, that connection is strong enough to hold all of this. mission. There we go. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? What? Okay, sorry about that. Just an Amazon delivery. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Thank you, Anstara. place in the universe. We are organic life forms with, the short, with short temporary lives. The abundance and diversity of life present in the smallest sliver of the galaxy proves that we are not unique, but ugh, I ran up the stairs too fast. But one of the countless other species all gazing out upon the same ocean of stars asking the same questions about our existence and our place in the universe. Most of our citizens find this prospect awe-inspiring, but there are some who have shown a marked insistence on cleaving to outdated anthropocentric ideas. The race is on. Oh, I'm tempted to go for this. Extra influence would be really nice. But warp speed plus ten percent or improved anomaly discovery chance for ten years. Uh, I can't help it. Let's move forward together. Construction finished on schedule. Okay. So what did they just finish? A star base in Wolf 359, right? So we've got that now, which means it's ours, which means we can build mining stations. And we still have a we fair have number of minerals. Star system. Excellent. Valo.
traditions available. So we took material abundance. We've opened up democracy. It is a natural right of citizens to choose their leaders, to hold those leaders accountable, and to have fair and transparent elections that are accessible to all. Or we can take pioneers. Which I think we're going to do this time around. Tradition accepted. fall into the habit of ignoring my planets and stations again, so let's take a look at Stardock. I don't think I can still... No, I can't upgrade. It's alloys. I need alloys, so maybe let's take a look at Earth and see if we can build a foundry. Miners produce mineral ores. That's a forge, not a foundry. Construction in progress. And Doria. Unemployment, so we need something here. Construction in progress. Construction in progress. I don't want to do too much too fast, so we'll leave that for now. And anyway, I'm back down to low minerals again, so I wouldn't be able to do a whole lot more, I'm sure. My next proper break is going to be in about four and a half minutes, by the way. So that'll be coming up. Oh. Something just happened. Oh. Uh, we've got a spy ship. This is our spy ship. A stealth vessel engineered to navigate through space undetected and asymmetrically defend Federation interests. Its warp range extends through the borders of any civilization we have contacted. These vessels travel covertly through other civilizations' territory for the purposes of espionage, such as gathering intel or conducting off-record operations. Understood. What we need you to do... Where are you? Where's the option? USS Rue. Automatic counter espionage. There we go. May have to retire to the land of slumber as up early for work, but will remain lurking until you drift off. I appreciate it. And never worry, life has to come first. I just appreciate that you were able to stop by at all. New technology has passed testing protocols. Phaser Banks. Phaser chain linking. That's going to be expensive and a long-term one to get. So let's do research AI. Research speed plus five. Neural root network. It should, Renamar. It's actually a fork of the Stellaris code. It's a new game published by Paradox, the same people that did Stellaris. But it was developed by the people that created the last Master of Orion game. And so far, this is really, really good. Complex electrical signals were detected in the root systems of the old growth forests of Vulcan. Though many of these thinking trees were already cut down before the discovery, legislation was quickly passed to prevent their further destruction. The people of Vulcan report sensations of deep calmness and serenity walking among the planet's remaining old growth forests, all of which are now designated planetary parks. No more missing vehicles or vandalized logging equipment have been found. We will continue to study these trees far into the future. 
How are you doing, Renamar? It's really good to see you. I hope all is well. Let's do research AI. It looks like we will shortly be getting the fast track training done. The last Master of Orion game was from like 2002 and it was not good. It was nowhere near that old. Hang on a second here. Master of Orion. Master of Orion, the uh, the most recent one, came out in 2016. And it was, you know, it, I wouldn't say it was the best of the franchise, but it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. Also, uh, the that next ad break that we've got coming up starts in about a minute. Construction finished on Tagame! I've been lurking for a few hours, but I just wanted to say hi, Tagame. No. You are amazing. You are wonderful. Here, shoutouts. Guys, you must know Tagame by now. She's a wonderful streamer and friend of the channel. We know her through Ultrasaurus's community, and um, she is fantastic. Yes, you. So let's get her another proper shout-out. Make sure you go follow her. The silent alarm has been triggered in Seoul. That's okay. We have automatic anti counter espionage. How are you doing today, Tagame? It's so good to have you here. I hope you're doing well and having a fantastic day. Did you get to some more streaming today? Did I already miss out on that? I checked my list earlier, but I didn't see you on. I don't know if maybe I was just too sleepy to notice or if you hadn't started yet or if you'd already finished or what the deal was. But if you did stream, I hope it went well. Uh, okay, so we've got a housing quarter here, which apparently we can upgrade? Upgrades to Federation residences. We can't upgrade because we lack material, but we will look at doing that in the future. And then we also got forges, so we will get a better speed on our alloy production, which is going to be important. Cool. And Andoria completed its administration offices, so that's really nice, and they're still working on a housing quarter as well. Not yet? Okay, well, I hope to catch you next time you do stream. I always love hanging out in your stream. Uh, oh, I do have to start that break now, so I will be back in just a few minutes, guys. This will probably be a six to eight minute break because I do have to make myself some tea, so if you will bear with me, I'm going to run some clips and be back shortly. If you need to get up and grab anything, this is a very good time to do it. Careful, Uthgird. I know you have a predilection for setting off traps. Careful. Nope. Well, at least you didn't actually get hit by the arrows. Okay, what do I have to do with this? Oh, I think that was just the thing that delivered the thing for the thing. The shot blasts a new orifice in the side of the junk crater. <laughs> Unfortunately, your inadequately protected ship is struck and subsequently destroyed in the bottleneck of metallic objects driving to pass through the same relatively small opening. All the worst places, there are mushrooms. Coincidence? I think not. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood! 
So, you got that job as a janitor after all. <laughs> I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. You fight like a dairy farmer. I am rubber. You are glue. I Got give that. up. You win. Yes. <laughs> we'll open the portal on your mark. Let's see if I can stay alive on a scooter with no auto drive. Whoops. Whoop. The answer is no. Whoops. Boom boom is down. What the hell? Whoops. Sorry, boom boom. <laughs> oh god. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise, its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Technically correct, the best type of correctness, that is correct. Whoa! <laughs> the, mm, let's maybe not jump down quite that far. Because we are going to have to go for the silly death, obviously. Open machine. Climb in machine. Well, Roger, it certainly appears as though you're about to become all washed up. <laughs> Wait, what? Open machine? Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials quickly. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, luckily he's a terrible shot. Oh. I deserve that, let's be honest. What were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I helped defend this grove. I'm not your enemy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow, I'm really accumulating inspiration. I might as well. I would like to see what she has to say. Seriously? Okay, that's better. <laughs> well, that was, that was pretty close to a good plan.
What? Okay. I call BS on that. Bobby, thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Oh, there's more than one of them. <laughs> I think one of them just took a flying leap off that tower. <laughs> Uh oh. Auto drive now disabled. I'd better back off. <laughs> I did not expect it to get the Albion truck. That's amazing. Is that the headless horseman running beside his horse? We've stopped. What is it? Chasing his horse. I've never seen this before. That's amazing. I know farmers are hostile, but I. Okay, dog. You're coming with me. <laughs> okay, I am back. It's chilly out there. Welcome on in, Ben. What's going on? Okay. Oh, what? What happened? Thank you, Unstar. Thank you, Ben. Just chilling. Excellent. Any big plans for the weekend, anybody? I was saying earlier in the stream that uh, for myself, it's mostly just this stream, and then I've got a bunch of uh, a bunch of. Um, video work I want to do. I need to catch up on a bunch of clips. I still have a vast number of Starfield clips to go through that I haven't gotten to yet, although I've started adding more and more of those into the rotation so far. You might notice a few new ones. I noticed one came up yesterday of the new ones that I put in. Okay, what have we got going on? One of these days, we got to get the Betazoids in. Uh, oh, Construction ship is done. Let's get some research stations in Andor. The Kahlo seems to be finished. Oh, I think they got kicked out of Karaya because freaking Cardassians took it over. That's unfortunate. Let's go survey down here then. All right. Any Trekkies here? Anyone tell me if they could add the Gem Hadar to this game? Oh, they, uh, I suspect there's a very good reason that they named this game Star Trek Infinite. They absolutely could add the Gem Hadar. They don't have, uh, let me show you here. Right now, this is half of our galaxy. They've given us the Alpha and the Beta Quadrants. A new tradition to teach us more about ourselves. Let me pause for a moment. They don't have anything up here, which would be where the Delta and the Gamma Quadrants are. So presumably, this being a Paradox game, they're going to have a lot of expansion content in the form of DLCs coming. And I would expect that the Gamma and the Delta Quadrants will be part of some DLC in the future. So you're almost certainly going to see you know, the Dominion and the Jem'Hadar and all of those good things and, uh, you know, the various Delta Quadrant species and whatnot coming up when that happens, as well as, hopefully, explorations of different moments in Star Trek timelines, like, you know, uh, right now, this starts maybe a couple of years after the Kittimer Massacre and then leads into the next generation and beyond, so we can probably see different time periods as well, like maybe... Uh, the Strange New Worlds and Original Series era, the Original Discovery era, maybe the Far Future Discovery era, maybe going all the way back to the uh, Captain Archer and Star Trek Enterprise era. There's all kinds of things that they can do with this. So yeah, I, I don't think you should look at this and be put off by the current limitations because Paradox has a long history of expanding their games. Uh, the Borg would be native to the Delta Quadrant. I'm not sure if that would be up here or up here. The Borg are in this game, but they are not a playable faction. They're more of a galactic level threat. 
and the main factions that you're capable of playing, I'm playing as the United Federation of Planets. You can also play as the Klingons. You can play as the Romulan Star Empire. You can play as the Cardassian Union. Each of them has unique skill trees and progression trees and all that kind of stuff, so uh, there's a lot of variety there. So you've got basically the big four, and then there are various other factions that you can run into. I am in the process of negotiating with the Betazoids to absorb them into the Federation at the moment, so I'm, you know, I started that process a while ago, actually, I'm still waiting for that to finish. Hopefully that gets taken care of soon. So yeah, it's a pretty big map. This is my second attempt at a playthrough. My first ended in tragedy when I found myself allied with the Romulans only for them to go to war with the Klingons, and then the Klingons just absolutely stomped me into the ground. <laughs> I like the Jem'Hadar. What's your favorite faction? Oh, Federation. I have no interest in the other ones, I gotta be honest. Uh, yeah, I've been a Star Trek fan since well before the next generation existed. I've always thought of myself as more of a Star Wars fan, but uh, lately... I would almost have to put them on equal footing because I just, there's so much good Star Trek out there and so many awesome ideas that they've brought forward. Uh, we have enough unity to adopt a new tradition. When politicians act like bosses, corruption and inequality fester. Our leaders are equals, occupying their places after proving themselves in lower ranks. Governors provide plus 10 unity and plus 10% trade value production on the planets they conduct missions. Starfleet. We proceed in the name of peace and science to usher in an era of security and shared knowledge throughout the galaxy. Our mission? To explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Sublight speed plus 10%, ship evasion plus 10. Okay, let's, we, we gotta get that one. Tradition accepted. Starfleet tradition. There we go. So the Jem'Hadar, they are part of the Dominion. They're kind of the military arm of the Dominion. They would be part of the Gamma Quadrant, I believe. Which I suspect they would probably end up putting the Gamma Quadrant up here. Just because... Bajor is here, so the wormhole would be here, presumably. Voyager Deep Space Nine, original Picard or the new stuff? Didn't like the Picard series, the recent one. They left the fate of the galaxy of the world in the hands of a robot woman who decided on a whim to not let robot mega aliens invade due to appeasement of ego. What? <laughs> I don't understand any of that. Daft plot, I would have appeased then nuked her just to be safe? I, I I don't know. Are you talking about season three? Season three was amazing. I loved it. The first two seasons were kind of iffy, but uh, there was still plenty of stuff to enjoy in that. I think my favorite, though, has got to be Strange New Worlds. I think that's overtaken even the next generation in my eyes. Strange New Worlds is just too good. And then I would put that... You know, Lower Decks is kind of up there, too, honestly. Lower Decks is fantastic. I'm really enjoying that. But Season 3 of Picard, I would put there up pretty close to Strange New Worlds. First two seasons, they're, they're, they're all right. There was some interesting stuff in there. Not my favorite ever. But, you know, I didn't mind watching it. I would watch it again. Society research. At the end of... Oh, the first season. A robot woman uncovered AI aliens that she was going to uncover a portal to, then two fleets, Federation and Romulan, hold off from just annihilating her. I actually... You're making me realize I don't remember season one of Picard all that well. I would probably have to rewatch it again. Okay. Let's do the food. And next up, we're going to be getting the Celestial Hollow Planning. Uh, 
what else have we got going on? Looks like... Everybody's busy. Good. It's been a while since I built a new ship. Have we made enough discoveries in Starship design to warrant upgrading ships yet? They can be upgraded. Starfleet vessels improved. Starfleet vessels improved. Excellent. And we're going to build another couple ships. Love the Romulan Warbird, the Dex Dairy. Yeah, I'm I'm not super familiar with the Romulan Warbird design names and whatnot, or what they look like. I gotta confess, I really only pay attention to the Federation ships. Klingons, the Warbirds, all of their ships all just we look the same as every other to system. me. Okay, they've been upgraded, system surveyed. Let's go over this way. Can we... Ah, helps if I have a ship selected. Funny that. Actually, I wonder if we can upgrade Stardock itself in any way. I can downgrade it. I don't think I really want to do that, but I could. No, okay. Construction finished on schedule. And that would be... Ah, okay. Build order on Andor. Excellent. Now we have Ryza. Ah, uh, we're still colonizing Ryza. I thought we were done. Oh. Looks like maybe we need to start working on some agriculture. How's Earth doing? Construction finished on schedule. And that was... Research station. Excellent. Okay. Republic. They've used their own set of first contact protocols. Okay, on screen. As a representative of First Minister Carson, I've been chosen to escort you to our diplomatic facilities. Please excuse the barrenness of your quarters. Recent times have not been very kind to us. Nevertheless, I feel we have money, many things to offer to each other. Now please follow me. Time is always of the essence. We are pleased to meet you. Our first contact process with the new civilization has been aborted as they have established communications with us. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna build mining stations on New Zindus. Now, where are they? Oh, they're all the, what? How? <laughs> How did we meet these guys? <laughs> What do you think of Valkorian? I'm not familiar with Valkorian. What is Valkorian? I'm not very good with names until I become extremely familiar with something. I gotta apologize.
closed their borders towards us. Okay, so no USS Cerritos second contact mission for them. In a game, he's a character in the Old Republic MMO Star Wars. Ah, I haven't played the MMO in a very long time. Uh, the Ferengi should be in here somewhere, but I don't actually think I've met them yet in this game in either of my playthroughs. I think this game has loads of potential. You tried running it, it runs terrible on your system. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's running pretty well for me, but... I hope you're able to get it running better. Maybe they'll release some optimization patches soon or something. Uh, okay, we can recruit Nechev. We're gonna get her now. That sounds good. Research model. <clears throat> yeah, I used to play Star Wars The Old Republic, but that was a very long time ago. I found the writing for the game started off very strong, but then by the time I got to level, I, I guess by the time I got to Alderaan, it started to gradually lose my interest, and then by the time I got my characters up to level 49, I was just done, and I basically stopped playing. A new technology has passed which is testing protocols. kind of a shame, because at that point, I'm sure it's higher now, but the level cap was level 50, so I just kind of barely missed it. By creating planet-wide holographic representations of resource distribution and spatial morphology, our cities are put to better use before construction even begins. Excellent. So, new engineering. Planetary build speed plus 50. That's tempting, but also a little bit on the pricey side. These are a little bit, a uh, little bit, um, cheaper. The creation of new elements in particle colliders provides limitless improvements to our existing alloys. I do want alloys, so let's get foundries. We have surveyed a new star system. Drago. That's got a Class M planet on it. I think well, my science ship can't really do anything about that, but uh, let's survey over here. And the allele is going to have to come over here. I think we'll build another star base in the Drago system so that we can take this planet eventually. Construction finished on schedule. There we go. We've detected a non-Federation vessel. Interesting. It, it, I can speak, I swear. I, I am a little bit tired today. Not as much as the last few days. I feel pretty good, but I am still just a little bit tired. So if I screw up my words, just remember, words are hard. testing protocols. Excellent. New research. Okay, so this is physics. Plasma gun. Worker pop resource output plus 5%. That might not be bad. Knowledge repository. Another boost to research speed. Thousands of years of research indexed, organized, and categorized at your disposal. You know, this is actually the cheapest option. Let's do this one. How similar to Stellaris is this game? Also, Hope Stream is going well. It's going very well. Thank you. It is wonderful to have you here. Uh, how do I pronounce your name? Ragnork? Welcome on in. Uh, this game is extremely similar to Stellaris as it should be because it is actually based on the Stellaris code base. What they did is they, uh, Paradox had another developer with a history of making this type of, you know, space-based 4X games. They gave them a copy of Stellaris's code and had them customize it very intensely to make a unique Star Trek experience. So it still plays very, very much like Stellaris, 
If you are a Stellaris veteran, you will have very little trouble getting into this. It's not the same as Stellaris. There are a number of things that work differently, but it works similarly enough that you'll be able to pick it up really quickly. Can't even spell your own username right. That's okay. I'm having all the trouble with pronunciation today of even normal words, so think nothing of it. It's just one of those days. Yeah, this is basically Stellaris for Trek fans, and I'm loving it. I really like it. I like Stellaris a lot, too. I've got most of the DLC for Stellaris. But uh, this one, this one gets a big thumbs up as both a Trek fan and as a Stellaris fan. Uh oh it does have some of the same issues Stellaris has. Like, it's really easy to sit here staring at the map waiting for something to happen, only to realize two minutes later that you've got the game paused. But, you know, that's on me. I wonder if the Stellaris track mods will get cease and desisted now? I don't think so. Stellaris, like, Paradox is really, really pro-modding community. I can't imagine why they would want to do that. I mean, you can take Stellaris and add lots of Trek elements to it, but it's going to be a very different experience than playing this game will be, right? There's no reason in the world you can't have both options. Okay, CBS Paramount, you've got a point. We'll have to see. Construction finished on schedule. Excellent. Now, what's that? Oh, that's not bad. We're nowhere near our spread threshold yet. Okay, let's go ahead and get a mining station there for the energy in Bethel. I don't, we'll have to hope that uh, Paramount and CBS see it the same way. I don't, I don't really know what their track record is. I don't remember hearing a lot about them you know, cracking down insanely hard on Star Trek stuff. It seems, without we looking into it at all, that they might be a little bit chill about the whole thing, too. But time's going to tell, right? Where no one has gone before. After centuries of turmoil, a new golden age has dawned upon our galaxy. It is time for us to fulfill Starfleet's true charter to explore strange new worlds to boldly go in the name of peace and science. Wait, why do I have, I only have, I only have two science ships, why is it saying three? Unless maybe I was automatically given one, which I'd be okay with that, that'd be cool. Yes, let's resolve where no one has gone before. Okay, so that opens up two new missions. Understand the unknown, which means we have to research five anomalies. It's a little bit weird that we haven't actually researched any of them so far. And then we can also begin to look at potentially building the Enterprise. But that's one of the big things I need alloys for. So that'll allow us to build the Enterprise D under the command of Captain Jolnik Picard. CBS is fairly hostile to the fan base. Really unquiet as that is unfortunate. Well, I guess time will tell, right? We all remember their Enterprise D model project. They got hit when Bridge Crew got released, though that was more the Bridge Crew producers getting hostile. If that was the Bridge Crew producers, then... Yeah, that, that kind of muddies the water. We'll have to see what happens, I suppose. Okay, um, 
let's take another quick look at Earth. How are we doing? We got a few materials. City district or upgrade planetary administration. I can't upgrade yet, but I can build another city district. So we're gonna do that. For fan films too, the restrictions are sometimes draconian. Ah, Ryza is settled. So it's actually a little unfortunate that I just built stuff on Earth, but eh, what can you do? Yeah, I can't really afford any buildings. We have surveyed a new star system. Material. Yeah, okay. I need minerals. That's all right. We'll get there. What was that? That we just. Okay. We surveyed a new system. Let's get down here. Lucas had a much better relation with the fans. Yeah. I'm not sure what to think about that. On the one hand, you're only talking about restrictions, which, as a creator, honestly, I can sympathize with them on that. More about ourselves. New technology has passed testing protocols. I'd be a lot less inclined to sympathize if they were just saying, no, you can't do anything. Which, you know, we've all known companies that are like that. Unsynthesized food center. Society. Governor level cap. Starbase building simulator holodex. Pop growth speed plus 10%. I think we gotta go with automated politics. It's our cheapest option. Construction finished on schedule. Mining station in Bethel, okay. Now, is there actually anything left for this guy to do? Yes, we've got deuterium and we've got research. And I could definitely use more deuterium mining. Material production, mineral production. And I'm actually kind of thinking maybe we should have a third science ship. upgrade components so far. <clears throat> no, we don't. Okay, so let's just build a new science ship. And we'll keep plugging away at our research until we can do fun stuff. And then we'll build another couple of Miranda ships as well. Although, we really need to up our alloy production. 
Um, got two thirty seven minerals. I don't suppose Andoria can take. No. We need three hundred forty. Okay. Our spies were unsuccessful in their attempts to infiltrate the planet belonging to the blank in the system blank. It's a really good game, but it's not a really flawless game. We must make sure that none of our crew members have been compromised in the process. A Federation starbase is under attack. What? Oh crap. Oh crap. What do you mean, under attack? Spy ship IKS Goroth. All right, guys, scramble. Combat action successful. Oh, well, okay, maybe that wasn't really anything to worry about then. Traditions. Leadership dispatch. Governors provide plus 10 unity and plus 10% trade value production on the planets they conduct missions on. And then we can also... I, did we already do democracy? Let's do democracy. Jobs producing better production quotas is good. Tradition accepted. Thank you. That's right, you, uh, no. They're not going home, they're going to visit the Cardassians. I approve of this. Good on you, Klingons. That's a much better idea. I, I like that. The Resolute. If only it were Centaur class, that would be perfect. Okay, we need a new, oh, what? What? Uh, do we ha not? Oh, shoot. Crap. I have no available scientists. Okay, so the Resolute is going to have to stay here. Or can I actually use it without a scientist? Probably not, huh? No, I, can't, I can explore, which means I can go there. But I can't actually survey. That's, damn it. That's annoying. Well, we have a ship ready for use as soon as we've got someone to crew her. Research stations in Drago, please, and then we'll probably do research stations in Regulus, too. Technology has passed testing protocols. Foundries. The creation of new elements and particle colliders provides limitless improvements to our existing alloys. Ah! Minerals from mining stations plus 10%. Asteroid cracking. Yes! Please. Unlock Starbase Building Nebula Gathering Station. I need it. Thank you. Incoming transmission. Oh, what's up? Jolan True. Form a non-aggression pact with the Romulan Star Empire. We will be unable to attack each other while this is in effect. Sounds good to me. Maybe I should take a look at my contacts as well. Daggers talk, money howls. 
cordial relations with the Klingons. Okay, we've got a, an embassy established. Ugh, our, our, our envoys are still busy. Having only two envoys is really annoying. I need more. Federation News Bulletin. A message from our governor, Dara Shran. It has been one year since our settlers reached Dryza. Now is an excellent time to throw them an inaugural celebration for breaking ground on their new world. It is important to me personally to show my support for our most distant colony yet. I also have the feeling it's going to be one hell of a party. The issue will be dealt with as soon as the trip can be scheduled. Issue special project inauguration party. Sounds good to me. Mission log updated. We have a special project with a time limit. Consider starting it so we do not miss this opportunity. This is the mission log, our main center of operations where important briefings are stored. Oh, I should look at this more often, I think. We've got a couple of things back here that I didn't know about. Uh, let's pause. Our governor, Thara Shran, wants to visit Ryza to officially welcome this new world into the fold with a planned ceremony. And, of course, a celebration. Has one governorship in orbit. Okay, that's why we didn't get this event last time. I did not have a governorship. Something. And Doria. Construction in progress. The anomaly screen shows anomalies we have discovered but have yet to fully research it is really weird that i have not found any anomalies so far uh okay so the ship is in orbit finishes in 180 days let's commence the project it will take at most six months to complete so we're doing the thing now let's look at some of these others battle site the site of a vicious skirmish has been discovered in the Karaya system, but unfortunately, the Cardassians settled the Karaya system, so we can't do anything there. New civilization. We've come across a fellow spacefaring civilization in the new R system. We're attempting to establish a formal line of communications with them in the hopes that it will be mutually beneficial. Assign an envoy. We can't do that one either, because I tied up our envoys and I don't know how to get them off that assignment. The Empire scores a balance of power tab shows which civilization exerts the most control over the Alpha and Beta quadrants. This is far from a static representation. It should be monitored closely, as these circumstances can change rapidly. Okay, so basically I'm screwed. I'm in distant third place. Great. But, I mean, I have very little experience with this game, so I guess that's to be expe uh, expected, so I won't judge myself too harshly. You guys can, of course. The species screen shows all of the species we have previously interacted with. These can be filtered down to show only those who live within our borders. We can set species rights for those who dwell among us, though some options may be limited by our level of technology. Okay. We still have some time before we get any new technologies. There's no other tab for envoys, huh? We've got governors. 
scientists, admirals, generals, I don't have any generals, spy. How do I get more scientists? Okay, I can't get the third ship because Tala Nirvani, she's busy commanding the USS Cerritos. Can, I wonder if the Cerritos can act as a science ship. Cerritos, where are you? It can! Okay. Construction finished on schedule. Excellent. Get out there, Cerritos. Research station in orbit of Trago. Regulus, here we go. Oh, I, uh, wow. Okay, just go to Regulus. We have lost a true Federation hero. The campaign to elect a new president is underway. We have surveyed a new star system. Have we now? Excellent. New ruler, ruler has been elected. The Prague will rule until the next election, which will take place in 2366. And there she is, the Cerritos. Okay, excellent. Unclaimed system intel level medium. Uh, 179 minerals, we should be able to get research station. Let's do that. We have surveyed a new star system. Beta Penthe. All right, Carlo. Survey that. So for anyone who hasn't already heard this question and answered it, what have you got planned for the rest of your weekends? For me, it's mostly going to be this stream. I don't know what I'm going to get up to tonight after stream. I do have a lot of video work and stuff to do, though, so that's going to occupy probably the later hours of the day and then a good chunk of tomorrow as well. Um, let me see. Party time. A message from our governor, Thares Shran. After four days of celebration on Ryza, I am ready to come home. The settlers of Ryza know how to throw a party. I barely remember it. There were conventions, street fairs, delicious food, music, and dancing. Not much downtime, though. Some vacations require another vacation. Sorry about the headache. Thara's Shrine games the party animal trait, granting the following effects. Planetary build speed plus 33%. Unity from jobs plus 33%. That sounds awesome. Flying Circus game tonight, brunch tomorrow morning, Conan game tomorrow night. Oh, the band, that sounds like a great weekend. That sounds like so much fun. Ah, 
we got our forges. Okay. So if we want to upgrade to foundries, we need a lot of materials. What the heck? Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. I'm debating if I want to stream Star Trek uh, now or wait. Streaming or just playing, I would recommend this game. It's a lot of fun, especially if you're a Trek fan, presumably you are, or a Stellaris fan. It's, it's really fun. I'm having a very good time with it. Construction finished on schedule. Okay. That, unfortunately, I believe is... Yeah, that's not in my borders. We'll have to... We have surveyed a new star system. Ooh, new star system. Excellent. We'll have to go to Rigel and build a deuterium mine there. We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. Are we ever going to get the Betazoids into the Federation? We've detected a non-Federation vessel. Excellent. We will do our best to understand you. The government screen shows our current ruler, values, and any modifiers that may be affecting the data. We will do our best to understand our you. Our demographics data can also be viewed in the tab below. Okay. Looks like. Can I assign this? Oh, I can reassign. Okay. Man, that was easier than I thought. It's What confused me is the fact that there's a minimum time before you can reassign them, and I thought there would be a pop-up alerting me. Turns out there isn't. It just passes, and then you have to figure out on your own that, oh, I can reassign them now. And that's what just happened. So, fun. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, if I want to steam. Okay, I thought you said stream. I apologize. I uh, Yeah, I would say this game is a lot of fun. This game is good. It's well worth it. If you're a fan of this kind of game. If you don't enjoy grand strategy, then, you know. Construction finished on schedule. Maybe I wouldn't recommend it so much. But it sounds like you might be. So I'm going to guess. System is out of logistic warp range. We will do our best to kick you where it hurts enough. We yes. We have surveyed a new star system. Happily. Yalora. President to Prague is leveled up. Speaking of Earth, let's continue our habit of trying not to ignore stuff like this. Uh, we need... Oof. We need 510 minerals to upgrade. Okay, two and a half minute warning, guys, by the way. Next break begins in two and a half minutes. When that happens, I'm going to have some ads running for about three minutes or so. I will be running clips, so you're not going to miss anything. And I do appreciate when you folks do watch the ads. It helps the channel out more than you think. Here. Why does it keep saying that? What the heck? We've lost a true Federation hero, but it doesn't tell me anybody's actually passed. That's weird. Okay. Let's 
star base. We still can't really upgrade anything. Except the fleet, potentially. We have surveyed a new star system. Okay, why do I have a third and fourth fleet when I've got the first fleet at half capacity? I would really like these guys. Transfer all. This is bizarre. How do I just... Can I drag them? First contact with the new civilization. We are the El Aryans. Oh, the storytellers. The universe tells many secrets and we listen. There is always knowledge to be found if you know where to look. Forgive our manners. Please make yourself comfortable and have a drink. Request tutelage. How fascinating. You are wise enough to understand that knowledge exists outside of academic books and formulas. Now that is interesting, but this is only the first step of quite a long journey. There are many paths one can follow. Some will be straightforward, some will be, some will meander, and some will leave you exactly where you began. We can assist in making the journey a little clearer and certainly more interesting. Our tutelage should, shall guide your mind to its full potential, we are certain. That's fascinating. If like Solaris, then select both fleets and click merge. Okay, I don't know if it's quite like that, but we will find out when I get back from the break. So, let me just back out here. I will be back in about three and a half to five minutes. So, meet you back here after that. Ah, jeez. Oh, God. That was not the best plan. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Um. Down you go. At least I got meat. <laughs> Climb tree. This tree is dead and seems to be free of the slick secretion some of the others generate. You begin to shimmy your way up the snag. Crack. Holy log jams, Batman. You almost ate the big one. Well, I mean, that was kind of what I was thinking we needed to do, though not the way I was expecting to do it. 10 4. What have we here? Orad has transformed you into a new source of recreation. You, of course, don't survive this treatment. It's tough to make friends around here. I didn't catch the rest of it. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, that was so close.
Oh my. Now you know why they wanted to close the hole behind you. You have become the unwilling victim of the dreaded cave squid. Tough luck. You know, I think that might very well be the very first time I have ever seen the cave squid. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Another step. Okay, I'm back. That will likely have been the last break of the stream. <clears throat> okay, let's take a look at our mission tree here. Alloys are improving slowly. We still have not found any anomalies, which I'm a little upset about. We were finding them left, right, and center in the last game. I don't know what's changed. Nova, let's get you over here. Resolute, you can't really do anything. Cerritos, you're still res uh, surveying, I think. Yeah, you are, okay. Is there anything for the allele to do? I was going to try and get over here. Uh, it's out of logistical warp range. Okay, well, let's maybe see if we can get a starbase at Valo. They've also got a planet that might be okay. It's class D, so I don't know how great it would be, but I guess it's going to vary by species, right? We've got a few species living in our borders. Silent alarm. Discovery logged. Oh, Federation wow. news bulletin. Scientist Galar has developed new skills. Quick thinker trait. Excellent. Noted. During shore leave on uh, I 120 RY, a routine sparring exercise in one of our science ship's holodecks led an ensign of ours to happen on a glowing pocket dimension, growing pocket dimension created by a tear in the hollow grid. Okay, so this will be an anomaly. That's good. Let's research this. Yes, research, please. New technology has passed to testing protocols. New research. Starfleet produces officers. Parts of an exam a candidate fails or is telling us those they pass with flying colors. Not everything is revealed through standardized procedures. Prosperity Accords. Let's do that one. That looks good. We will do our best to understand you. Research modeled. 
Okay, now we're making progress on integration, finally. New technology has passed testing protocols. Minerals from mining stations plus 10% and nebula gathering station becomes available. Excellent. Uh, okay. Miranda build speed plus 25%, ship evasion plus 5. We could go with Intrepid Schematics. That's an expensive project, but it would allow us to build the Intrepid ships. I think we're going to do that one, honestly. Construction finished on schedule. Scanning the rift caused in the holodex grid, it has become clear that the omnidirectional holographic diodes have given way to reveal a concentrate of altered hollow matter. With a high number of manipulated photons in the expanding tear, all illusion of substance has dissipated, leaving behind only true matter. A physical, uh, or sorry, a physicist aboard the ship has tentatively called the rift a new kind of hollow dimension, believing it to be much more than a pocket in the universe. Eerie, the ensign should alert the captain. Analyze the hollow dimension, obviously. We must analyze it. What was first thought to be a growing pocket dimension caused by a tear in the grid of one of the USS Nova's holodecks was found to be an apple-sized microdimensional portal caused by an abnormality in space-time. Our crew has discovered that it leads to a most fascinating aquatic world composed of ocean and air only. Analyzing its properties, our scientists noted that the salty sea water splashing in from the portal could not exist for long in our holodeck, dissipating when beyond its threshold. Accessing the world proved impossible, but our scientists discovered that the portal works much like a spyglass, peering into this other dimension. Although this portal will one day close, for now we will use it to conduct research in the aquatic world. In the meantime, we have opened another holodeck in an unused ready room. The wonders of the universe never cease to amaze us. Hollow portal spyglass modifier added for two months, giving the following benefits. Monthly research plus 10%. <laughs> nice ultra. A new tradition to teach us more about ourselves. Okay. Leadership dispatch. Governors provide plus 10 unity and plus 10% trade value and production on the planets they conduct missions on, and that will complete the progress tradition. Tradition accepted. Ascension perks. Ascension perks are the culminations of our traditions. Bonuses that impart significant benefits connected to the tradition tree that unlocks them. A new Ascension perk slot is unlocked with each tradition tree we complete. Some may also require the discovery of certain technologies. Understood. Currently reading Dresden Files Blood Rites. Very nice. Enjoy your absolutely nothing, Preserve. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I'm kind of tempted to go with the greatest inheritance for the ship build cost advantage and the ship weapons damage bonus. This is a watershed moment for the Federation. Excellent. I think next we're going to open up the research one. forgot about these oh god okay warning folks we've had a redemption for a terrible p pun or dad joke and there is a good reason they're not called wonderful puns and dad jokes 
just so that you know. Let me find my joke book. Okay. What's purple and 5,000 miles long? The Grape Wall of China. There you go. Aren't you glad you did that now, Batai? See what you done? Oh, I forgot. We were going to look into how to combine my fleets here. What's fragile? I would not call the Great Wall of China fragile. Move. Return. Attack target. Come on. Oh. Maybe that's why. For some reason it displays... That's weird. Five of five, three of... Th why do they have such limited numbers? That's... I don't get it. Let's assign Admiral Nijayev here. See, it says four of 20, but here it says two of two. I don't get that. Can I get another Admiral? Close-minded, no. Two places at once. Bold Admiral, we'll get Lorak. Unless, let's look at We have surveyed here. a new star system. Yeah, we'll get Lorak. Still three of three. We Why have surveyed the heck? a new star system. I, 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 I don't like that. That's weird, but okay. I assumed that having an admiral would increase the number of ships you could have. But I guess not. One day I will learn to play this game better. But apparently today is not really that day. At least not in this Discovery respect. Logged. Mysterious mine. Our scans have detected high concentrations of valuable metals on YNA. However, several undocumented mining structures already exist on its surface. there and quiet us. Ugh. Ugh. Research model. Well played. New technology has passed testing protocols. Knowledge repository. Research is faster. Okay, plasma launchers, yes.
construction ship is idle. Oh. Okay, so we had that one done. The spread is looking all right. Ooh. The USS Nova has discovered a primitive mining station dating over 200 years old on mineral-rich YNA. Comparisons with Federation news archives from that time show this mining station matches the description of one built by the Zell Mining Corporation. The company cut corners and then suffered a catastrophic accident two centuries ago. These cheap structures did not shield the miners or machinery from solar radiation. An explosion caused 20 civilian deaths, forcing the company to close the mine. A whistleblower came forward and everything was brought to light. Everything, it appears, except the location of the asteroid, which we have now found. Mining here could yield huge economic benefits, but the miners' remains were never removed. Digging here could upset the descendants of the deceased. The structures and equipment will be rebuilt to current safety standards. Minerals gained. I do need minerals. Prohibit mining on YNA for now. The site will be sealed off to prevent any future exploration and will be designated as a grave, which would give me... Uh, she would gain experience and we would gain influence. Once again, it helps to leave the game unpaused. At least when you're waiting for something to happen. Eldor Joy! The Joran Republic. Support independence. Start a war to liberate the Bajoran Republic from subjugation. We have surveyed a new star system. Okay, where was that? Munich system? Oh, interesting. There is at least one pre-warp civilization in this system, a feudal age civilization. Dry, walky, rocky world with a nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere. Precipitation in major bodies of surface water are relatively rare. Significant temperature variations between day and night cycles. Vegetation is scarce, but even moderate precipitation can make the desert bloom. So I wonder how we can deal with those. Maybe... 
See, I'd be tempted to go de uh, Wolf 359 again, because it's got these mineral-rich areas, but we had issues there last time. Stability, unity from jobs plus 15%, pop upkeep. Hmm. I guess we'll just go human. Okay. We have lost a true Federation hero. Yeah, I wish it would tell me why. It keeps saying that. Something has happened on one of the first contact investigations we're currently undertaking. Relations established with the Circle of Listeners. Visual contact has been established with the Circle of Listeners from the new R. Communication with these people has shown them to hold a unique set of skills unlike any other civilization we have yet encountered. They have already made a name for themselves in this galaxy. These developments likely mean that we will establish a closer relationship than anticipated. First contact finished. Now, where's Cerritos? They're down here. I'm gonna have to get them to do second contact after they're finished with their current task here. First contact with a new civilization. We have made contact with an alien civilization. Although we already know of other sentient species in our galaxy, the discovery of intelligent life always gives us new opportunities to learn about the different cultures in our universe. We will welcome them with open arms. star system. Have we now? Which one? Virama. Ah. Oh, no, that's the Kalo. Okay. That, that's fine. That's good. We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. Cerritos. The circle of listeners has at least one station in this system. We are receiving a message from the Janai Council. They have used their own set of first contact protocols to communicate with us. Transmission incoming. While we are glad that the first contact procedure concluded without bloodshed, we cannot guarantee your continued safety on Talarian space. Our leader, Leader Hara, knows how to deal with outsiders and he will not tele tolerate foul play. Try to keep your business here short and we won't have to resort to drastic measures. We're pleased to meet you. We can now use the Territorial Reparations Casa's belly against the Janai Council. Incoming transmission. Jolan True. We propose form a commercial pact with this civilization. This will increase the trade network value of each empire and improve our relations with the United Federation of Planets. We will get eight... 8.87 energy and they will get 8.15 energy each month as long as the deal okay sure I'm gonna think twice about actually becoming their ally though because I don't want to get dragged into another Klingon war 
that went poorly last time. We will do our best to understand you. Soon. Very soon. There we go. We can build a new star base. Second contact. Okay, how we does second contact work? Star system. That's weird. I'll have to probably do some research off stream to figure out some of these things that I don't get. Okay. USS Nova. Low stability. Ah, Ryza has low stability. Okay, well, let's do... Agriculture and city districts. And I won't worry too much about buildings for the moment. Obviously, being Ryza, we're going to have to get some culture in there as well. That'll probably be the specialization fact. Uh, where is Ryza? Construction finished on schedule. Declare festivals increases amenity and immigration pull for 10 years. Martial Law, Exhibit Wonders. Scout for Talent, increases researcher and security officer production for five years. I'm not sure it's actually producing, no, it's not. Okay, so we're not gonna worry about that right now. But I think I will worry a little bit about Earth. Planetary decisions are local measures passed for the specific needs of that planet's pops and can relate to law, culture, criminality, or the economy. Decisions can be unlocked via researching new technologies and other civilizational advancements. Okay. Um, Ninety-five percent. Habitability, habitability 100. Planet size 22, capacity 82. Let's declare festivals. Protection pact ended. Diplomatic communication from the Beta Z houses. We will do our best to understand you. Greetings. Break our protection pact with the civilization. We will do our best to understand you. Last month it changed by minus 11? Oh, border friction. Oh, because, oh, because I just 
took the system. Okay, all right. But that's okay. We're going to integrate them, so it's not really going to matter very much. I'm just going to leave these guys here, and then we can get the resources there shortly. We have surveyed a new star system. Excellent. still don't know what's going on about this. Order the ship to establish second contact, releasing envoys, improve relations output. Oh, you know what? Maybe... Last month it changed by plus two. Request counsel. Hello, traveler. It's been a while, or not. Depends on how each one understands time. We hope the universe has given you something to think about since our last encounter. Keeping an open mind is good, but keeping your mind open to its own endless possibilities? Even better. So, how may we be of service today? Well, and what do we have here? Oh yes, we once heard about something similar. Not exactly this, certainly not, but you know how it is. Everything draws inspiration from something else, and you can compose both a lullaby and a battle march using the same notes. What can we tell you? What we can tell you may inspire you, certainly. If you really listen to what we have to tell you, what you have in front of you will not be the same, and neither will you. Engineering Council. Intrepid schematics plus 50% consumes a large advancement. Okay, so second contact is probably not working because this is not a standard civilization. That's fine and good. Citizens of Buzz. Oh, what the heck? Totally calm. Welcome in. Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. So, how, tell me about your stream. What were you up to today? I would love to hear all about it. What were you playing? Let me get you a shout out. Oh, thank you, Ultra. Lords of the Fallen. Oh, that just came out, didn't it? Is that a remake or remaster? I know there was an older game of that name as well. Would love to hear all about that. If you folks are new here to the channel, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a narrative streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games, lots of character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games like this one, some sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every once in a while... I am known to do the odd uh, Lego build as well, so if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Crap. Oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh damn it. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh no, 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 no. Oh crap. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> okay. That. Oh. 
Hey, I have not... I have not looted that, sir. bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. Thank you so much for sharing your community with us. I will do my best to take care of them for the little bit of stream that I have left. I'm going to have to wrap up soonish, Probably 25, 30 minutes or so, something like that. Ugh. But it's great to have you here. So what kind of game is Lords of the Fallen? For some reason in my head, it's kind of taking up the same sort of space as like a Soulsborne kind of game. But I'm pretty sure that's wrong. It's more of an RPG, isn't it, would you say? Or is it more like an action RPG? I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into it yet. I haven't had a chance to really watch any of it yet. I'm sure I will get to it, but I, I wouldn't mind some clarification on what exactly I should be looking at when I see it. So today we are playing some... Oh, what the heck? Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome on in. Discourse is buzzing across the Federation about the implications of our recent contact with a newfound alien civilization. This discovery confirms what our scientists have long supposed, that intelligent life with developed cultures are relatively common throughout the galaxy. Knowledge brings us together. Souls clone with a sprinkle of RPG stuff. They're trying some new mechanics outside the typical Souls world. Interesting. So, when you say they're trying some new mechanics that are outside of that, does it still have the Dark Souls-like difficulty associated with it, or is it more forgiving? It has an insurance life. Uh, what, is, what does that mean in particular? Research model. Excellent. New what technology has passed to testing protocol. Interplanetary Study Programs Unlocks Edict Prosperity Accords Public Education Programs Focusing on What is Possible When We Work Together Will Improve Our Societal Trust uh, So it improves unity production and envoy improve relations But officer production suffers Ooh, That makes me a little less inclined to issue that one. We kind of need officers. But I like having the option. It has some difficulty to it, to be sure, though I also like the... like to apply personal challenges on top of game difficulty, usually. Okay. I'm just wondering, because I am not at all a Soulsborne fan. I don't like difficulty for the sake of difficulty. So if it's a similar kind of gameplay, but without the difficulty for the sake of being really hard, maybe it would be something that I could enjoy. Otherwise, I'll probably just skip it the way I'm skipping uh, the Liza P and all that. There are two worlds you can change between the first time you die, you land in Umbral or whatever it's called. I, I Yeah, I don't think I get it, but okay. I'll keep an eye on it when I maybe watch somebody play it. There was only one BS move enemy that caught me off guard a few times. Oh, that's not too bad, if you're having a good time with it. Ergonomic writing implements. Administrative capacity. That might be good. Recruitable spies cap. Black no, let's not worry about black ops training right now. We're going to go with this one. 
And then it looks like we will be getting our tactical plasmas shortly. Okay, what are they doing? They are surveying, so that's fine. Looks like our colony ship is headed for Wolf 359. That's excellent. In Umbral, you can change back to the real world so Terminal you didn't die. Elsewhere in the galaxy. We hope these hostilities will end soon. What happens if you die in Umbral, TNR? Romulan Star Empire is gone to war with Cardassian Union. Now we shall see which empire is stronger. Betazoid houses have been successfully integrated. Okay. And the Klingons aren't attacking me this time. Because... No, or nobody's attacking me because I was not allied with Anomaly them, so that's reported. awesome. Oh, what? Who? Where? Independence supported. Romulan Star Empire will now support the independence of the Bajoran Republic. Good. What was that about an anomaly? I missed that. Crap. But you can also change to the Umbral at will, so it is also a game mechanic. Dying in Umbral then makes you respawn Soulsborne style? Okay. Oh, here are the Janai. They're down this way. We pride ourselves on self-determination. Let's see if we can improve relations. Oh, we have an extra person here, an extra envoy. Tapel, 28. She should be able to work on them for a good long time. We're going to send her over to see what we can do. Can you tell me about your objective with this game? Primarily, I'm just trying to learn about the game mechanics. This is my second playthrough. The first one ended pretty tragically when an alliance I had with the Romulan Star Empire got the Klingons going to war with me when those two started fighting each other. So the Romulans and the Klingons declared war on each other. Because I was an ally of the Romulans, the Klingons attacked and just completely crushed me because I don't really know what I'm doing yet. So I'm basically... I'm playing as the United Federation of Planets. So this is Star Trek land. Uh, very much just sort of it this is stellaris but it's 100 percent star trek so we're just trying to grow the federation and govern according to our ideals whatever we decide those are we're not stuck with the trek ideals of tv and movie fame unless we want to play that way and uh you know just trying to grow and expand improve our relations with other cultures absorb them into the federation grow stronger live well, that kind of thing, and uh, do what we can to not get Research killed by now. everybody else. So it's kind of like civilization in space, but Star Trek. New technology has passed testing protocols. Unlocks component plasma launcher. Micro reactors create guided particle fusion capable of yielding generous amounts of directable energy. Okay, so physics research. We can improve energy from mining stations. We can improve minerals and research from mining stations. I think that's what we're going for, because that's really important. And we can do plasma site cleaning, which unlocks building research complexes. Assimilate other cultures. Interesting choice of words. Hey. The Borg are in this. It's not that kind of assimilation, though. TNG was my favorite series, but Deep Space Nine was pretty close. Haven't consumed any of the new one. Oh. <laughs> it, at this point, it's not the new one. It's quite a few new ones. There is Star Trek Discovery. There is Star Trek Strange New Worlds, which I would recommend. It is now my favorite track. I used to be with you on TNG. Uh, Strange New Worlds is phenomenal. Really, really good. We have there is a new star, system. star Trek Lower Decks, 
which is an animated show. There's Star Trek Prodigy, which, uh, you know, that one's a little up in the air, but it's also an animated, 3D animated show. There is, what else have they done? I think those are the ones that are currently on the air, but they've got several others in development as well. Lower Decks is great. I love Lower Decks. Okay, let's get up there. I actually have the ship from Lower Decks right here. Where are we? Oh, I have extra fleets. What the heck? Did the Betazoid have... What the... Oh, okay, we need to upgrade fleets here. Let's upgrade those. Upgrade those. Upgrade. We can't upgrade those. Why not? Ah, because they're out here. Yeah, I think some of these might have been Betazoid chips. That's okay. Betazoid should probably have an enhanced starbase anyway. What is this? Beta Zeta Station. That's hilarious. Uh, okay. No, I can't upgrade it. So it's about as good as it gets right now. Let's send them to Earth, and then we'll upgrade them. Wasn't Prodigy cancelled by Paramount and then uncancelled by Netflix? Yeah, that was the weirdness that I was getting at. I'm glad it's got a new home. I might actually get to see Season 2 at some point. I've, actually, I've, for that matter, I still need to finish watching Season 1. It seemed good. I just I didn't find it as compelling as some of the other tracks. Fleet upgraded... Starfleet vessels improved. Excellent. Starfleet vessels improved. Good. Jolan True. Form a research agreement with the civ this civilization. Both will gain a bonus when researching technologies discovered by the other empire. I'm okay with that. Just so long as you don't want to become allies and I have to join your war, then we're good. I am not fighting the Cardassians for you. The zeitgeist shifts. Our recent contact with the new species has seized the hearts and minds of the Federation. The belief that our galaxy is not an empty sea where sentient life is rare, but instead an archipelago, rich with many vibrant cultures, grows more substantial by the day. We will continue to seek new life. curious what these things look like. Let's get in here for when they arrive. Here they are. Huh, okay. Will we be able to upgrade them? They don't look like they're going to be compatible with Starfleet upgrading they're not really Miranda class. Mm, no, okay. No upgrading these guys. That's all right. You can go on home then. I don't think I've ever seen that up close before. The moment they actually warp out, that's cool. Okay, we've got food again, so I think... How are we doing? Looks like we've still got some capacity, so what we're going to do is we're going to go here to Expansion Planner, and... Hmm. Denobula's not looking as awesome as I thought it would be. 
maybe instead... Yeah, we might go with this one. out. Uh, the Cerritos is idle. Let's get them back to work again. Now that I've figured out that they're not going to be able to do second contact with the Elarians. These guys... These guys here. Let's build mining stations there. And we have surveyed a new star system. We've detected a non-federation vessel. There we go. There we go. First contact. News Bulletin. Through hard work and experience, scientist Tala Nirvani has developed new skills. So she's a quick thinker, so she gains experience a lot faster. Noted. Okay, hang on a second here. I just have to snooze upcoming ads for the next break, because we're not taking another break today. I have to end too quickly. So I'm just going to bump that well past the point that the stream will be over. And now we're fine. And we can just keep going for a little while longer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Looks like Zeta Beta, Sta or Beta Zeta Station. I love that name. That's already a level two. That's already good. Okay. Just got current with Lower Deck, it's amazing. Yeah, it really is so much fun. I need to rewatch the entire series. I've been watching it just episode by episode as they release, which means it's been a few years since I saw that first season. I need to catch up with it and just see the whole thing in a relatively short span. I'm sure there are tons of references. Research model. New technology has passed testing protocols. That was fast. That's really nice. Scientist level cap plus one increase recruitable scientists. That would let us make use of the science ship I built. That would be fantastic. Through hard work and experience, scientist Paula Mercer has developed new skills. Another quick thinker. Okay, why the heck can this fleet... Why does it say it can be upgraded when it won't allow it to be upgraded? That's annoying. I'm very behind in my Star Trek series. I think the last one I watched religiously was Deep Space Nine. Oh, man. Definitely check out at least the first couple seasons of Discovery. The first one, I gotta be honest, it was rough. But, I mean, the first season of TNG was pretty rough, too. We have surveyed a new star system. But season two of Discovery was really, really good, and it introduced us to Anson Mount's Captain Pike, as well as his uh, Mr. Spock and Number One, and that is the basis of Strange New Worlds. So it's absolutely worth it, because Strange New Worlds, it is my favorite track series. It's so good. Okay, Nobira finished. Let's go over here. 
So for those of you not familiar with this game and maybe less familiar with this kind of game, we are basically just going around surveying new systems and eventually we can build an outpost there which allows us to claim it as part of our territory and then we can use it as just a part of our empire. So vessels engaging hostile station. Uh oh, what? All hands at battle Uh the Cerritos? What? Oh, shoot. FTL inhibitors? Oh, boy. And this nicely illustrates the dangers of exploration. Apparently, the Cerritos has got in over its head. Um... You see this line that's pretty much entirely red? The red part shows how powerful our enemies are. The green part is how powerful I am in this conflict. <laughs> and I don't seem to have the option to retreat. 56 days until emergency FTL is ready. Okay, let's see how this plays out. Research model. New technology has passed testing protocols. Ooh, okay. That's good news. Intrepid. Hang on, we'll get back to that battle in just a moment. We need new engineering tech. Uh Photon torpedoes would be nice. We're behind schedule on those. I mean, it's 2362 for crying out loud. They should be launching the Enterprise next year. Uh, can we back off, go here? Get away? Hide, maybe? What's going on? Oh my god, I, I think it's just actually gone. That's so sad. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just lost. Missing in action. At least one of our fleets have gone missing in action. It will take them some time to return and rejoin the ranks. Okay, so they will be they will be returning. Recruit Spock! A promising Starfleet officer named Spock has been nominated for promotion. A veteran of many important missions, Spock's record indicates they are a quick thinker who will perform admirably on and off the field. I don't know, guys. Do you think we should trust this guy to be worthy of promotion? Spock's previous crewmates all attest they are an asset to the Federation. We could take a chance that maybe he's okay. We'll see how it goes. Silent alarm has been triggered. Newly founded colony. We've established the colony Wolf 359 Prime in the Wolf 359 system. Uh, okay, good. They moved it on me. Go. Ah, not enough minerals. Okay. We'll have to let them deal for the moment. Oh god, my mineral production is abysmal. What the heck? Is there anything I can do maybe on Earth to help with this?
I suppose it's possible I'm turning too many minerals into alloys. Building mining districts on the surface of colonized planets, using construction ships to build mining stations around mineral-rich planets, buying more on the market. The market is where we exchange resources to better optimize our economy. Resources can be bought or sold here, though prices will not necessarily reflect current production. The laws of supply and demand still exist, after all. Automation can be used to generate recurring trades Okay, I think we're going to have to go with that. Unfortunately, it's now 6.30, guys, so this is about the time when I have to wrap up, so... Let's find somebody awesome that we can go and raid. Thank you so much for an awesome stream today. This was so much fun. Really had a blast with this game today. Let's see who's live. And thank you as well for so much support from so many amazing streamers. We had Ultrasaurus, we had Greeny Trini, we had Tagame. We had all the raids coming in. Just so many amazing folk. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, let's see. Jedi Master Grogu is doing some retro gaming. I'm not sure what game he's playing. Uh, thank you for being here, Ultra. Thank you for being here, everybody. And Quietus, good to see you, of course. Metwick is playing Starfield. Tessichka is on. We don't get to raid her very often. Mm. The Hunter Wild is playing Cyberpunk. Ash Monster's on. Speaking of Lords of the Fallen, that's one I would not mind checking out, and Ash is always a delight to hang out with, so might have to go visit her. Tibic is on. She's playing Baldur's Gate 3. She's also always a delight to hang out with. Hecky May is playing Observation Duty. Actually, she's just chatting, but she will be playing Observation Duty. And Luality also playing Cyberpunk 2077, and I think that's about it for today. So we got some options. Thank you for being here, Hammer, TNMAR. Always a pleasure to see you. And thank you so much for bringing the raid over earlier. I appreciate the recommendation. And so much support today. It was really, really awesome. You know what, though? I, I'm really curious about this Lords of the Fallen game. Since I really don't know what to expect. And, you know, comparisons to Dark Souls always bring a lot of questions to my mind. Let's go visit Ash Monster. Especially because, not just because I'm curious about the game, but uh, I, I don't know how much you guys follow her on the socials and all that. She recently had uh, some kind of an incident that resulted in a badly broken leg she's still recovering from, so let's go help cheer her up and all that too, so let's, uh, let's see how things are going there. So I'm going to load up her channel. to raid Ash Monster FTW. And I'll give you the raid call. So, here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. It's a bookmark with the heart emote, the wave emote, and the shh emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emote. Actually, let me kill the game because we've got audio bleed here. Uh, either way, 
Sub or non-sub, please feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes the way you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Ash's channel, see what's going on with her, see how Lords of the Fallen is going, see what kind of impression she has of it, and I will see you guys over there. Now, I don't know what kind of bonus streams I'm going to be doing over the next couple of days. I might not do any because I do have a lot of catching up to do on some, you know, uh, clip work and all that kind of stuff. I've got to download and make a lot of clips from stuff that you guys have provided over on uh, the clip page and so we'll have to see how it goes but I wouldn't mind getting another one in at some point so either way we are going to be back on Tuesday afternoon for my regularly scheduled stream and just a final reminder for today I will also be streaming on Wednesday this week it is my nine year stream anniversary I will be starting at noon and I will be streaming until I can't stream anymore which is usually around three or four o'clock in the morning and we will be starting with a Lego Star Wars Imperial Shuttle Lego build. And then I have no idea what game we're going to play after that, but it's going to be a good time, whatever it is. So I hope to see you here for the big anniversary stream. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. I'll see you over on Ash's channel. Bye for now.